Oh, welcome. Oh, ho, ho. hi there. We got ourselves another It's been a week cast. already. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> For, for me, same time for you, Squint. Yep, the, the two of us that make up Squintcast that we naturally <laughs> talk about all the time before the stream starts, um, <laughs> the, the <laughs> podcast. Uh, we're going back into disco. It's going to be lots of fun. Looking forward to it. So sad and so slow. Just how we all like. I've been, I've been mentioning a lot lately to my friends that that's my favorite type of music. <laughs> that's sad and slow. The melancholy music guy. Yeah, and this game's full of it. <laughs> like in in tone and in actual music. Um Up on Melancholy Hill. <laughs> Let's uh <laughs> We got half an hour of game time before we gotta go chat with Kim. Oh, good point, right. Um yes, I wanted to I think I just wanted to do stuff with the body or I think you tried and you threw up and mm -hmm. And I think I might have gotten locked out of it maybe for a bit. Let's see. Oh, yes, because I need to... Okay, I, I totally remember now. We have the thought cabinet where we have to compress our shit mm. for 30 minutes, so... <laughs> we uh we can talk to Kuno, but that might kill us, so... <laughs> yeah, and it could be a fate for us. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if I can activate. Can... Nah. I'm looking forward to getting past there, because you get some fun Kuno stuff after you go through there. We can just talk to Kuno S, or we can start... Oh, I think it'd be fun to just mess around a little bit with the doomed uh, commercial district. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I like the this call box a lot. Yeah. Call box so much. A matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Main hall, building A. An off-key melody <laughs> starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then a woman picks up the receiver. Kudo, <gasps> <laughs> Play Sots, it's me! <laughs> Please open up. I'm trying to get in. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying random doorbells. I didn't have anything important. Okay. Please don't do that. <laughs> doorbells are not important. And this one isn't even working properly. Please don't call us again. Thank you. <laughs> a single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. I don't know if that's a good business practice to say, please don't call here again. Bye. <laughs> it's, I see why this district's doomed. Um, uh, a Andro Orlando here, SCA. You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. Just seeing the words Andro Orlando gets your hackles up. Mm. It's very existence is a threat <laughs> to your masculinity. Yeah, that's true. To say nothing of your hair. <laughs> oh no. Half light, you betray us. Uh boxing for you young athletes and gym. All you hear oh. is static, but no one answers the call. Artemipetep? I do you know what that uh, uh, uh Artemitep. Artemitep, oh neat. Uh, 24 hour window. You ring the doorbell, but nothing. But happens. it's 24 hours! <laughs> it lied. That was fashion. A atelier? Uh, atelier. A atelier. Two, but all you get from the call box is silence. No one answers the call. Damn. Darn those French and their silent R's. <laughs> um. Fabron's taxi. The rest has been burned off. Looks like someone has melted half the plastic off <laughs> with a lighter. That sucks. The <laughs> doesn't work anymore. That's, I love that fact that like, like most arcade machines you can come across risk the very easy threat of just someone sticking gum in there and never, <laughs> it's never usable again. It's like such an easy flaw. <laughs> cost me 10 cents to cost you a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I forgot gum like per volume is that cheap. It's been a while since I've heard someone say they spent 10 cents. <laughs> Slipstream. You hear static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. Do you know what SCA stands for? Uh, no. Okay, me neither. Hello, is anyone there? Yes, I have Google. Hello. Oh, this is uh, this is a woman's voice, crackling and fragile through the static. Have you come to place an order? Hold on, Tres sent 
Tenniel Electrics. I thought this was called Slipstream SCI. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. <laughs> uh, sorry? Mm. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. It's a woman. And she knows you. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Come, come, stand up straighter. Yeah, it's me. I'm here again, crawling back into your life. <laughs> that one's the most unique one. Let's go with that. <laughs> Just please. Oh, she stops and you hear heavy breathing. Her breath distorts by ancient static. Sounds like a ghost. Oh. Wind blows through seagulls. the clothes and you feel the Yeah, it sounds like a seagull. Oh my god, what's going on? Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. What the fuck happened there? Why is there so many... Oh, it's... It's Shivers. It's Shivers experiencing, like... Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, that was wild. I... Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. She sounds like she's shaking. Hold on. Uh, uh, my name's Ambrosia, not yeah, Harry. Yeah, I, I was gonna press that one because uh, <laughs> I don't know where this came from. I wonder if you could say that like this early on if you if you walked up there. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't learn our name. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, tell me what's going on. What did I do? Ever since I came to work here, as if my mind's been wiped clean. Oh my god! A spot of static overrides her words when she speaks again. It sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice. Oh my god. To be able to finally again. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the sound of me hanging up. <laughs> Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin. As if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere huh. inside the building. Water is flooding the cellar floor. Oh god, please don't cry. Uh, hello? She doesn't answer. You said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. What just happened? Another seagull passes by. Hmm. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the silent call box. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. <laughs> Fuck! <Aww. laughs> uh, okay, it's a goodbye then. Hangs up the call. You press the number sign Ooh. on the keypad Whoa. that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Oh, so, <clears throat> SCA stands for Strong Customer Authentication. Huh. And it's a European requirement to trade. Uh, and it's like to prevent fraud. Oh, interesting. When, so when you mean trade, do you mean like just regular commerce or do you think stock? Do you know? Yeah, it's like a European regulatory requirement. Wow, interesting. Okay. And it's based on the use of two or more of the following categories. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a lesson. Knowledge, possession, and inheritance. What the fuck? <laughs> so it sounds very disco. Oh, totally. Yeah, that's... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I'm I'm cool trying this. It's a uh, we can redo this one. Yeah. Let me just be sure though. Do we have any? No, any sort of volition. Okay. An old call box with a mix. No. Oh. Hold on. The last thing you need in your life is more hysteric emotions. Forget <laughs> it. Find something else to do. Fortress Accident SCA. Silence. No one's home at Fortress Accident. <laughs> Revishal Ice City. Silence. No one answers oh. the doorbell. Why does why does this callback connect to a whirling? But okay. Main hall building B. Nothing happens no. after you ring the doorbell. Oh. They don't want to talk to you. East Delta Pinball, entrance from building B. Silence. No one answers your call. Oh. Uh, empty card. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Huh. This button looks new. 
I think Estonia is in the uh, in the EU, Charlie. Sam, sounds about right. EU Estonia. <laughs> well, when I when I can. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Slapped my knee. <laughs> Having a hard time like properly uh, running. There we go. Okay. Um, I guess it just we can't go in there now. I guess. No, you're bored. Okay. Hmm. I think we should maybe try going through the plaisance direction. Oh, it's oh, it's locked. Maybe it's just oh. the time of day. Hmm. Um, like, let's try talking to her for a sec. Hello again, officer. Sure. What's, How are things? What's this fuck the police business? One of these signs says that. Excuse me? She doesn't understand. She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm empathetic. I'm not empathetic enough, I don't think. I'm barely empathetic enough, so... The street sign says fuck the police, point at it. Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> what about the other sign? Pigs go home. Who are, who are those? Pi these pigs? I don't know anything about that either. Who are these pigu? As I said, I didn't write it. Pig is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. <laughs> no need to worry. Learning so much. I'm not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. <laughs> this has been a great talk. Um. Hold on one moment. One moment. Okay. I'm just trying to pass time for the compactor. So, we haven't gone here at all down here. Nah. I think that'd be good to check this out before it gets too late. Higher, spelled like that, tracks lead onto the roof. The slush and rain has almost washed them away. Off. I like to ad lib sometimes. <laughs> Been good here. The sewer, uh, great. <laughs> the gateway to the river of filth. It's true. I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh. Just some free electrochemistry. Okay. Nice. Gasoline stained fingerless gloves in navy blue. They've been worn thread bare, but made of wool. Still provide some warmth and comfort. Um. I'm considering maybe we could put a point in Inland Empire just so maybe our clothes might yeah. talk to us. Thought you think that's good? Okay. I agree. I'm down. Sweet. Just keep that. Maybe we'll get some nice dialogue someday. Oh. First of all. Nice. Is there any like hidden bottles here? Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> just realizing it the other day that there's like hidden bottles everywhere. Water lock out of order until Wednesday at 7 15 a.m. Butter sign down. No. No. Not the butter a sign. Billboard reading. This is outrageous. Butter. Barry, can you hear me, buddy? Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. The hmm. sign billboard has fallen oh. on the water lock, keeping it open and thus out of order. Nothing more to see here. I'm, I'm just so like focused on maybe I can add more visual. Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> I just because we have all these options to help us out. Yeah, that, why not? Mhm. Mm but we're not save scumming, so <laughs> unless it's a uh, measure head, which is like an exception. Yeah, there's there's a couple exceptions. That's what makes the rule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's nothing hypocritical about it. The sign billboard has Ooh. fallen on the water lock. Keeping it Yeah, open. that's pretty good. Thus, Pretty good chance. Out of order. Uh, attempt to reconstruct what happened here. Judging oh. by the size of the impact Whoa. and the parallel lines of burnt rubber, the cause was probably a motor vehicle. Visual calculus. This is like the first time we've seen it actually work. It is like one of the coolest things that it like triggers in this game, because you get to see all this. Yeah, definitely. It's cool, like previous motion, because your mind's just piecing it together. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, look at the crater. Hello. Side slip marks indicated that the vehicle was traveling. Oh, up the a vehicle of at some sort. <laughs> an hour. 
Oh, you don't say. Oh. <laughs> That's just some vehicle, huh? Um, mm. <laughs> the roof of the shack. <laughs> the black marks on the roof Ooh. indicate that the vehicle vaulted from vaulted. the crater to the roof of the shack. Look at the sloping metal roof panel. The panel served as a takeoff ramp. <laughs> Look at the broken posts. The Aww. vehicle soared through the air, hitting the billboard. That's right, Charlie. Setting the posts. <laughs> then it continued its flight, taking the billboard with it. Disco Elysium drift. Um. <laughs> Drifter Elysium. <laughs> Look at the sign. <laughs> the sign broke the vehicle's fall into the canal. Uh, look at the opposite bonk. Woo! Swerve. Still speeding, oh. the vehicle made a loop and vanished into the fog along the coast. <laughs> I click this. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. Uh, what was the model of this phantom of vehicle? There are two good candidates. The Cuprise 40 and the Linaire G22. Cuprise Linaire. Um... Why the Caprice 40? It's about the right size. And the tire marks look like they came from the skinny tires frequently found on that motor carriage. Hmm. Why the Linaire? Very sturdy but light motor carriage. <laughs> More likely than most to survive that jump. <laughs> uh, what, what now? You'd have to follow the tracks to be sure. Okay. Blink. The lieutenant looks on, waiting for you to wrap up your analysis. Nice. The oh, I can talk. Oh. <laughs> it's a weird, weird, rare option to actually talk to him like this. Any theories about what happened here? Looks like someone was in a real hurry. Reckless traffic, hooliganism, <laughs> uh, some top shelf shenanigans. Yes, <laughs> I want to yes. meet the driver and shake his <laughs> hand. Yes. What kind of car do you think it was? Um, mm -hmm. the f the f mm, I was thinking flip light. Coin? Oh yeah, sure. Let's flip a coin for this one. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, right? Right. I mean. Uh, heads is one. Woo. And we got heads. Okay. That's quite likely, oh. from what I can tell. <laughs> I have some ideas about nice. who might have done it. Who it might have been. Uh-oh. No, I don't. I don't have any idea. <laughs> no, I have no clue. <laughs> who could have done... Who could have been? We are not traffic cops. Oh. <laughs> Should we get back to the murder? Try to come up with a convincing explanation for the driver's actions. Jacob... Er... er no... Known? Who... Is that like a driver? Uh, we should bring this driver to justice. Take the task. Might as well try, I guess. It's only, uh, we only get one chance, and then I guess we can take the task afterward. Yeah. Ooh. You oh, double. Oh, oh, snake eyes. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> it's a sh Wow, great. That's a bad theory. Um, sorry, Matt Pat. Uh,. That's okay. I love shit stories. <laughs> sure, let's see what, where it goes. Well, you're in luck then. Oh my god. See, Kim, what happened here is the driver was a man whose wife was about to give birth. Yes, this is good. This, <laughs> is, good. this is literally my internal thoughts whenever I come up with a joke. It's just <laughs> it's continuously just saying, yes, yes, keep going. Yes, Don't dig yourself, yeah. <laughs> he was out drinking with his pals when he got the news and flushed with parental pride he got into his caprice at once and raced to the connect to the clinic yes yes that could very well happen. <laughs> now let's move on we're not <laughs> we should bring this driver to justice take the case <sighs> yeah Woo! yeah, yeah we should <laughs> we need to put them in cuffs that i'm not the driver him to get far with this the lieutenant consoles himself ah <laughs> uh, poor kim having to put up with harry but they need each other did we get our thought finished? Oh, not yet, but very close. Four minutes. Oh. So I think talking to this guy will be it. Nice. Evening, officers. Oh, he's got some meat. Evening, the officers. <laughs> hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami. Oh, this is a man right here. Oh. Knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock. And on an enormous <laughs> evening, governor has fallen down <laughs> into the canal between them. Aw, what were they doing? His posture is relaxed, despite his powerful build and mm. a knife in his hand. This man resorts to physical intimidation only in frequency, <laughs> if at all. He's a sweetheart. 
Uh, first things first, what are you doing here, man on the waterlock? Do you know the cause of this wreckage? No, I'll ask what he's doing here. My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the waterlock. I'm keeping him company and eating this salami. <laughs> Barry the Butcher? Oh. From the corner of your no. <laughs> eye, you see a man in a yellow shirt and grey overalls waving at you from across the canal. He seems disappointed about the wreckage on the waterlock <laughs> and the salami. I was chuckling at Ooze, your father. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me that in public, says Shemaine. <laughs> you can't ask me how's your father in public. <laughs> how's your father? I can do for you, officer? Uh, the man on the waterlock picks the skin off the slice of salami and takes a sizable bite. Hell yeah. That's just like dude activity is just <laughs> circumcise that salami. God damn. <laughs> Get you a man who can perform a bris. <laughs> uh, do you know what the cause of this wreckage? Uh, point at the smashed billboard in the canal. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Hmm. Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershell. So he's Aust Australian, right? He's Australian, yeah. Okay. The words dared devil driver sound ominous to you Ooh. too bad it also takes a go. year and a day to repair anything around here especially a water right, bye. the rest of the coast is closed <laughs> I've got off two minutes to get to kim shit uh yeah bye <laughs> volumetric shit we can come back to him he'll be here for another day yeah okay. bizarre slice in his salami river show west today you get a piece later. A police officer's shit piece has been me. observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, <laughs> not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit's singularity lasts. <laughs> I accept it. Woo. Got my shit together. I'm ready to smell a corpse. <laughs> There's that guy over there too. I'd like to hang out with sometime. Oh yeah, I'd love to talk to him. He's sometime. really, he's really good, isn't he? <laughs> oh, maybe a sea monster did this to the plaza. I mean, I, I call it my Moby Dick for a reason. <laughs> okay, there, I got it. There, he still is, looking oh. right through you. Oh my god. White eyes. We need to we need to make we ensure we can do this. Ensure we can endure. <laughs> yeah. Just looking for red text. Nah. Oh, Electro, okay. Ooh. Oh, Lieutenant Sang uh, uh handkerchief. Mm. Wow, it, it's worth like the <laughs> It's the most expensive thing we own. <laughs> Handkerchief given to you by Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Uh, one corner is adorned with a lace and a tiny embroidered uh, portier. Porter? Mm, portier. Mm, portier. What's a portier? Is that just the text, I guess? Uh, might be like an emblem. Let's have a look. Ah. Okay. That's a good guess, actually. Nah, don't need intellect. Who needs that? Okay, well, let's just... Apparently it's a doorman. Oh, okay. There, I mean, I can see still is, a handkerchief right being given to me from a, by a doorman. With his white eyes, the body below is okay. entirely dedicated. We compressed to it. Corpse smell, emitting it as you breathe oh, in. Yes. The yeah. Wow, that was really, Ooh. really close. The smell of the mind telling you to run. Yeah, fourteen out of fourteen. To ring itself empty. Ooh. With your God hands damn. At your sides and your eyes squinting. You stand it. Oh, it's me. Uh, do they always do that? They do after seven days, yes. <laughs> we are deep in decomposition here. Step closer. I reckon we can still get some info out of this. <laughs> for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins, and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt so used cool. to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength um okay so i'm gonna 
Let's do this for safety. I'm gonna make a save. And I think I'm gonna try doing, like, like hanged man stuff, because that's stuff, like, Kim would talk to me about when it comes to our thing. Mm. So I'm kind of hoping that, like, uh, join him at the whirling after this time. So we don't have to be yeah. there, like, at it. So it, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever happens, I think we'll be fine to just meet yeah. him afterward. Yeah, just wanted the to get, I think, like, the corpse takes a while of in-game time. Oh, yeah. So. Good point. It takes a really long while. Um, inspect the boots. The material appears to be ceramic. Cool. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers Oh, hello, them. Leaf. It's Leaf. Hello. Delicate. We just look at a body. No big deal. feel alien to the world around you. Out of place. Somehow. Didn't even throw up this time. No, yeah. He missed the throw up. What kind of boots are these? They are armor, no boots. Technically speaking, these are sabatons. Sabatons. With his notebook under his arm, the lieutenant crouches to inspect the soles. Okay, then what kind of armor is this? Ceramic plate. Hello, Zirconium Ethan. Dioxide, Hello, Ethan. Most likely. This is where the make would be. Ethan, uh, subscribed to me the other day. Nice to see you again. Oh. Hello. Uh, this is where th they make the make would be where under the hill oh fair weather fair weather model t500 ve mm. i'm guessing that's vitreous enamel hmm. this is advanced stuff where's the rest of it scavenged by the locals piece by piece he's been out here for seven days it would be odd if they didn't <laughs> i mean who leaves good armor just laying around on a dead body <laughs> look out not me species. the armor could yield information this is one thing he might actually know. <laughs> oh no. He he nods towards Kuno, who's eyeing you suspiciously. If you wear <laughs> those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. Ooh, mm, yes. That's a good Ooh. reason, yes. Why does my mortal coil need protecting? <laughs> yes, bullets will fly. They always do. Ah, why and does my... coil is fleshy and mush and permeable. Mm. Cast it in ceramic shell. Resist death. I'm into permeable flesh. Um, maybe he was just wearing these boots and there is no rest of the armor. No, I think he had something precious. He got points for saying that shit. <laughs> they had to remove the jeans and shirt we found to get to it. And this kind of armor is often worn under fabrics. What if I, uh, what if they told him to strip before they hung him to demean him? They That's a good theory. They usually hang them completely naked for that. La Puta mm. Madre, the Mazda, the Besmertis, and the like. This one still has his underpants. <laughs> Starpod Carapace is fine. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. <laughs> Thanks, Guna. The material looks out of place here. It is. It's expensive. Uh, the lieutenant draws a line in the condensation on, on the ceramic. With his index finger. I'm excited to hear this part where they like flick the, the material. We've requested similar <laughs> material for our tactical uniques for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi automatics. Damn, how much are we talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. <laughs> uh, that's a lot, I take it. <laughs> As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware, yes, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Aww. <laughs> Uh, how could this man afford such expensive hardware? Looks like he worked for a private contractor, like Evrard told us. Wealthy, with state ties. This is mm. way above what we have. <laughs> Knock the boots. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. The pry bar in your hand is itching for some action. <laughs> Ooh. Swing the pry bar at the boot. Let's do it. That's cool. That's an option. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so contextual. I, I don't think I've had the pry bar on with this before. Mm. The metal connects Ooh. with the same oh. ding. The sound does not appear to get Excellent louder. dinging. <laughs> Did you hear that? A click? The lieutenant cups his ear. Yeah, like dice rolling. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's <laughs> the sound you heard. See this Points line? at the toe. Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. 
These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Like the scales of some ancient white monster cracked. And oh, that's hurt. us. We're an ancient white monster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, that's like a different way to describe being disco, to be an ancient white monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dictionary definition like you look up disco <laughs> that's the... a decrepit ancient <laughs> white monster i i love that concept about the porcelain boots they're, they're so cool that like it's just a yeah. bunch of little scales and that c transfers everything i'm surprised i'm interested if that's like a thing in real life at all if there's materials that are like that i'm sure uh pull the boot off yeah let's just do let's fucking this feels... Uh, oh, yeah, dangerous. I've seen a snakeskin shoe. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, wait, hold on a second. We're wearing alligator skin shoes right now. So. <laughs> I guess they're way ahead of us, those animals. Uh, are you sure? Uh, yeah, I, I want it. Uh, grab the boot onto your arm. <laughs> Kim won't mind. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. It's so dark now. Stop! The lieutenant's voice is sharp. <laughs> he looks at you with boot under your arm. He's gonna pull his I head shall off. not. <laughs> Jeez, that's that's so gonna pull his head off. Ooh. Abruzzo. Uh, <laughs> lieutenant, you seem distressed. Why? <laughs> You're about to pull his head off. Do it, homo. Um. <laughs> Why does she sound kind of like Dobby right now? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Dobby from Peep Show. <laughs> I yeah she I know what you mean totally. <laughs> uh, do, <laughs> do what? Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. Damn. What are you trying to achieve? Yeah, anyway? yeah, it's definitely Why not compromised already. <laughs> Kudos has been throwing rocks at it for like a week. <laughs> like, just been sat out here decaying. Uh huh. <laughs> These boots would go super well with my bell-bottom pants. I mean, true. This advanced enemy technology. We should can conduct research into their weakness are you not are, are we not detectives <laughs> there may be clues inside the boots so they're expensive i thought we could pawn them <laughs> here in some luce lucer lucre i think lucre. Like lucrative. oh yeah that's good uh i'm sorry the sorry cop nope, no no we're not a sorry cop never I'm never and saying also, sorry. I wonder if the option, if you're not wearing pants. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, my legs are cold. I want <laughs> these boots to keep That's them warm or something. So awesome, yes. I, I hope so. <laughs> I wouldn't pet, put that past this game. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, there's clues inside of it. Maybe we should concentrate on what's outside the boot and leave what's inside mm. to the boys at present. Uh -uh. Kim, what device. if? Besides... He taps on the boots. There's no way you're getting them off. Uh. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. Uh. <laughs> they are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? Disgusting. Because they're not as strong sure. as me. Mm -hmm. There's a way to peel them off. Yes. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant yes. wasn't around. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Still a dead man's boots, <laughs> but that would be dishonorable. <laughs> Refuse, for honor. <laughs> this is so awesome. This game is so, like, aware. The anticipation makes you crack your fingers. Oh. Feels nice. Nice <laughs> and cracky. I'm pretty sure. It always does. It, yeah, you, I know you're an expert at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, interface is... I think personally one of my top fave because mm. I just love the uh the like obsession with wanting to manipulate mm. something it's just, like just it's so tactile mm -hmm. it's just like you, just feeling just knowing that you're like able to interface with something feels good that's that's so fun the picture for it is perfect it like, is that's me I want to get my grubby little hands on it <laughs> I got things to do here <laughs> what's going to happen to the boots then processing will take care of them with the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fight. Should we continue? For now, yeah. Back off and look at the corpse. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Ah, uh, look at the belt. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above... A sliding buckle ties the belt 
to the branch. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Huh. Oh, what was that a word? word? I don't know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ignore this. Vermilion, in yellow letters, oh. along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for vermilion golden spirits <laughs> lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. <laughs> oh, this is a bad time for a drink, right? Extremely. <laughs> Pretty bad time. Yeah. What kind of rope is this? <laughs> Industrial strength. You can use for tying cargo to lorries. Like in a harbor? Yes. It looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention to not incriminating themselves. <laughs> Wow, they just, they want to send a message almost. We're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it. I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? No. You feel like it was something else. But what? I mean, if Inland is telling me. I feel like it was something else. Even though we have no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel it. It's, yeah, it's my Inland shivers. Yes, it often is. Hmm. This bell worries me. I sure wanted him to stay there. The polyester seems strong. It's not merely polyester. It's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. Damn. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. Material like Maybe that? I should put steel reinforcing in my crochet project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Indestructible. I was actually just going to comment on that where it just... Like, if you see a material that just has, like, steel wiring through it, it's like, okay, I I, I can't do this. I'm not built for this. I, I ain't can't... fucking with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just t tapped out here. Uh, what did you even... H how did they even get him up there? A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. <laughs> he points at the buckle trying to... Uh, tying the belt to the branch above. I think the lassoed the branch, then mm -hmm. pulled on the belt. Buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing out there. Uh, he makes a pulling motion. I I do regret that we started this stream like at night because <laughs> this is the visual we get of this where normally it's a lot yeah. prettier <laughs> in a sense. It's a lot more daylight usually. Know, maybe it's appropriate for YouTube that it's dark. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually that's probably helping us. So, okay. Don't look a gift noose in the mouth. It's my pragmatism coming in handy, you know, I always think the, <laughs> the good and the bad. <laughs> Back off and look at the corpse. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. I like this part that's coming up with the tattoo. And torso covered in tattoos. Expect the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Hmm. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. The concentration is highest around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked with by? Alcohol and uh -huh. heartbreak. <laughs> uh -huh. Your fist clenches suddenly. Arr. I will be marked by bullet holes. I will be riddled with disco. Decay is creeping on the tattoo. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. <laughs> I'm relatable, yeah. <laughs> Is this a map of the night sky? A map of the stars. I do see some similarity hmm. to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. He literally said he, he turns away from the mic to breathe. He turns around to breathe wow. before inspecting it closer. <laughs> Kim's on day. As if someone left out most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains mm. unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. Half light. Half light. <laughs> oh. Um... I'm missing something here, so am I. A sudden ringing fills the air as the lieutenant pulls down the zipper of his orange jacket. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears, 
Some sort of camera. What's that? A Trigetsun chain. Mi Shit, Mini. Kuno! What the fuck is that? <laughs> An instant <laughs> color camera. It produces two small capped ampules and clicks them into place on the side of the appara ap apparatus. The thin slot sh shines there. I have only two ampules, so nobody move. I don't want hmm. to waste one. He points the camera at the corpse, peering into it. The lens needs adjusting. Then... A sound, a shrill flash, followed by hmm. the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. I mean, look, all I'm saying is, I mean, you know, we or maybe we don't have to say it, but you know, you know what I'm seeing there. I mean, in case we need it. <laughs> Yes, we need it. The lieutenant says and shakes the paper, letting it dry in the cold wind. On it, a color-perfect copy of the dead man's tattooed chest. Cool machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? You can tell when I'm like a proud streamer talking, can't you? There is only one <laughs> ampoule left. Use it wisely. What do we need this photo for? It contains insight <laughs> to the victim's person. This was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted oh. his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to hmm. us. Now, if you could find someone to decipher it. Uh, can I have it? I should look at it later without the corpse smell. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just don't lose it. Hands you the piece. Oh, I would never. <laughs> yeah, what? Harry losing something? <laughs> That's not a established canon already. Hands you the piece of the rolled up photo paper. It's no larger than a pack of cigarettes. The glossy eyed corpse looks by. Cigarettes on. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the camera. Uh, look him in the eyes. On the in the eyes. His eyes are milky white <laughs> and uh -uh. blind to the world, <laughs> protruding comically from their sockets. There is no milky. one home. Just sub aquatic terrors. Their dark brown hair grows Whoa. on his head. His face is nice. ready to uh -huh. explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. So I know we talked about this before, how we kind of are thinking uh, double, like even numbers might be prioritized when it comes to like certain checks. Mm. So if we fail this, are you cool with like us putting another point in there and seeing if it works? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Okay, cool. I think that's our, we only have one point left, but we're almost at a, another point. Okay, let's try it. The corpse Aww. is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. <laughs> Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through oh, you can, as okay. you distance yourself. It's nice that it puts it there. Okay, let's do it. Woo! Okay, I think shit's gonna really start happening now. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, you're gonna tell me we should talk? We should think about calling it today, maybe. The nights are still oh. miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for damages yet. You should take care of that then. But I don't have the money. Let's talk to him anyway. Hmm. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. Yeah, what kind of officer would be sleeping in the streets? I don't know. That couldn't be me. Not, not hobo cop. Uh, okay, we can do this again. The man before you is naked, but for the fish Are you kidding me? silent in response. You must be losing your oh. mind, asking him that over and over. Saint, are you there? Oh no. I have a, I had a feeling Saint might, might not be there. Uh. Oh, Discord stopped responding on PC. I think I have to restart the app. Ah. Oh no. Hello? Hello, I can hear you now. Hi. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened to Discord. <laughs> Discord, like, got upset or something. <laughs> I did notice a distinct lack of uh, Saint responding to us failing this fucking Inland Empire again, so. <laughs> I could, like, still hear you, but the stream froze. Oh. Like, pop out, and then. <laughs> Alright, I mean, uh, so your character also went away for a sec, but are you back now? Like, does it look like it's back? Yeah, yeah, he's all good. Okay. If you didn't see, we fucking failed it again. <laughs> oh. And I didn't save, so, um, fuck. <laughs> Lesson learned, I guess. Oh, I was so sure we'd get it, and I... I told you. It's gonna be annoying. He is male, 40 to 50, 
with an athletic build. Okay, well, everyone just look away for a sec while I... I want to look. <laughs> I, I am considering doing it. I mean... Because it's kind of a waste to, to do our, this day like this. If you're fine with it. Yeah, I mean, where am I going? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's you're just... stuck with us, chat. <laughs> yeah. The man I'm so sorry to say it. Ceramic and if you wear those pieces... Yes, yes. No, yes. I think he had something. Day. <laughs> Fucking talk. It is. We've requested for a full set. <laughs> As a wage, it's regret. We're doing Looks it. Looks like he worked for. We're doing it. We're speed running it. Did you hear? This is a thing. Oh, like we got an extra thing. Oh, we did. Wine. This feels the step. Stop, pig. Brutal. You're about. Do it, homo. Pull his. What are you trying Thank to do? Thank you, we got you? second homo. <laughs> Why are you hanging on to that boot? Uh. Maybe there's no. You're sure. The anticipation makes you crack. Press piece by piece. We should keep. If you wear those pe the sabatons dangle off the cadaver, and in his court, alcohol your f decay is creeping. The map of as if someone left. <laughs> <So am I. laughs> we're almost done, folks. Sorry, we're uh, <laughs> takes quite the experience. It should get. And I have only two. Listen, boots. the foley artist Nobody put in the work, and we get to hear it all again. <laughs> shrill flash. Hey, it really shows how much they put in. In case we need it. Yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? There is only it contains insight to the victim's person. It's like trying to slow me down by making me scroll a little. The glossy eyed corpse. Check looks the belt. Like the hangman's knot. Oh my. Vermilion. One of my favorite things metal. about radio Extreme. plays is how much the foley work is important. Oh, that is cool. Lorries. Yes, it looks like they use. I'm still a pro. No. You yes. It's not merely this makes getting him the a noose. Is I think the lasso. The cadaver hangs from the car. We should, we should take, let's talk. Let's talk. Mm. Mm, yes, save, yes. Ooh. Hell yeah. Got the new photo. Shanky Saragi snapped this photo of the hangman's tattoos. It displays the intricate web of blue lines stretching across his torso. You have to admit, it looks quite cool. Okay. The man before Save scumming works. Naked. His eyes, dark brown hair grows on his. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's the way. Yep. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode with the organic processes inside. The dead man's grin has passed. Has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Oh, I thought. Okay, I, I forgot. I want to read like the thing we decide to tell him or whatever. Like, we, oh, we asked who who are you or something. Like, who were you? And he says, I'm gone. Oh, uh, where have you been? Into the wild pile yonder. Aww. Where is that? In the past, way out in the west. I can see you're gone, but who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> you are now, but who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. It's cool that this guy's voice is the, uh, are like, yeah, blackout thoughts voice. Takes one to know one. <laughs> Damn, I have another question for you. Go ahead, Coppa. Uh, what is happening? What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your... Black, frothy liquid starts bubbling from on his lips. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Ask me more questions. You fucking love <laughs> questions. <laughs> we do. He knows what we... What we're into. <laughs> uh, why do you have. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a copperoni. Uh, <laughs> Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me a comically lar comical large. Wait, give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up. <laughs> copperoni. Wow. Ten? I don't think I've seen this ten yet. He's getting up. <laughs> Now. How, how do I press that on the keyboard? How, how... <laughs> <laughs> Where's the 10 key? <laughs> uh, Wait, once you say that, you can't. You can't say enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't say that there's enough questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, is my name Rooney? Fuck Rooney? no. You're no Rooney. Wayne Rooney. <laughs> 
Of course not. I'm Raphael Ambrosia Cousteau. Listen That's to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not a Raphael anything. Dude, shut up! You're no! You're probably just Harry or something. <laughs> two, two. That's right. Harry. No, I can't be Harry. I refuse. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least he's happy about it. Uh, why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have. Damn. Who killed you? Love did me in <laughs> It was love all along. Can you ask me a question? Sure, Wait, no, is he but saying that love? I can ask you a question. Love will tear us apart. Why are you doing this? Again? I, so, what, what's the song, <laughs> uh, Saint? I'm, I don't think I... Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? Hmm. Because he told me to, not toward Kim. <laughs> I like that one the best. You're a lying sack of shit, Coppa. <laughs> I hate doing you. doing this because Aww. there is nothing else to do. Everything else is over. It's just me now. <laughs> I hate you. You stink and you're boring. Do I remind you of someone? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a baby affected with harlequinism. That's a horrible, mm. horrible sentence. I don't, don't Google it, folks. Don't. That's really. Yeah, actually, don't do that. You sure got out of that one, Coppolini? Uh, enough. Come back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my <laughs> memento mori features. If possible, also. See me in your dreams. So that's one of the points where they, uh, the dialogue wasn't the same, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, it happens. It only happens like a handful of times, but you can come back and look into this face anytime you want. Humor yourself with my Harlequin features. Ask me your little questions, freshen your memory, create associations. Me, can, can you allow me to finish this last sentence? Mm hmm. Relate your associations. Remind yourself of your mortality, Coppolopo. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that to be pulled out at all. Uh, <laughs> five for squint. I do, uh, I do DM. You narrow your DD, eyes, you know. <laughs> it before he blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. I should have considered this, this like, skill on your resume when when we were yeah. writing up the uh <laughs> the contract here <laughs> i do bring so many voices <laughs> only the Observe. lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue his fatted hands Ooh. thighs and his mm. neck just above the noose the rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air Look, everyone, I'm proof that you don't have to die to have these features, okay? You can be the person you want to be without having to be a, a bloated corpse. <laughs> I'm squinting, Kim. Why am I doing that? How should I know why you are squinting, officer? <laughs> why are you squinting? Squint harder. Ah, uh, always. His face and hands are pink. Thighs, too. The rest is greenish. Oh. You are trying to assess lividity. <laughs> uh, relax your eyes. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears <laughs> pregnant God. with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. Ew. I'm, I was laughing at the Shakira yodeling and gruff man voice <laughs> revealed in Squidcast. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> so what do you think? I think he did. Uh, something's going out of him. The pool of blood and feces has eaten <laughs> into the frozen mud. You think below Shakira the got her yodeling lessons from Pearl? Is when... dripping into it, drop by drop. From Pearl, from. You, you are a fake Russ fan. I guess I am. Damn. 
Pearl oh, is yes, the, yeah, the, 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 the cousin. Yeah. The, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, this sells Goadling lessons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. So, maybe, okay. How many hours is that, Saint? <laughs> I'm like maybe two hours in at this point. So, I, a little spoiler, I'm pretty sure Pearl is not in the series after like part of season one. So, <laughs> fair, that, fair. <laughs> just, just proving how much of a Rust fan I am. Uh, <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> The victim appears to have contained no <laughs> but yeah, more she than does half yodel. a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck are you saying? Oh. <sighs> Talking about shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yes. Damn right, I'm a... Malicious laughter <laughs> in the yard. Sounds like seagulls. <laughs> no, my morale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The lieutenant's face is made of stone. Hmm. Wow, okay, good. <laughs> I think he's dead. I agree. Totally dead. Totally. Or <laughs> deady dead dead dead. Dabba doob doob dead. Oh wow. That thank God <laughs> I said that. <laughs> he's still skied with us. Wow. <laughs> Mr. John himself. I don't know what to think. What do you think? I think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in Kuno, his please. Feet. Stop. And he has so many rocks. <laughs> Points at his flattened chin. Fattening. Fattened chin. The noose acted <laughs> like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. Ugh. The hypostasis here is in tune with the hanging. That's what I think. That seems like a lunching to me. Everything here seems to corroborate that assumption. <gasps> but we should still get him Hello, down before it's signing Mupa. a probable cause of death. His Mupa. Welcome to stream. He's beaten up. See the bruises? I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even <laughs> all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. Jesus, that's bad. It means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. <laughs> Back off and catch your breath. But there is no breath. You never call me coins. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. <laughs> how affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we uh, get him down? Or I have something I need to know, corpse man. Let's click that just to see that option again. Of course. Nah. Come back later. So how do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. He stops to think, then checks his notes. Step back and have another look. The cadaver nope. slowly twists yep. on the cargo belt. The primary his examination is done. Let's get him down and... from there. Mm. Ooh, the 70 Steering points. Damn. Presents a unique Oof. challenge. I brought chain cutters. It's like double they the amount of points we had on us. Approach to the belt. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get him down. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. <laughs> I don't I didn't even know you could do that, Maple, if you can. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, if I could do it to measure head, I could definitely do it to a, a dead guy, <laughs> right? I mean... Yeah, you could knock the body right off that head. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the image of that. <laughs> I like the order you said that in, too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't someone else do it? Someone else? You mean? Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. The Call the police. <laughs> Someone already did. You know who came? <laughs> we did. Because we have made bad life decisions. Such oh, a sassy bitch. Facts. God damn. It's true though. I know it's hard, but I assure you, <laughs> the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. Mm. We need to get him down fast. It's not the only thing that's growing. Can we? Uh, we could saw the branch. Climb up there and saw the branch. Yes, either one of us could do it. We could use the kid's ladder on the side of the tree. I don't trust that ladder. Mm -hmm. The assailants didn't use it. It's eh. rotten and less sturdy than it looks. And I don't see another good way up there. Honestly, I prefer a non-acrobatic solution to this. Hmm. No acrobatics checks here, I guess. Why? Clown cops climb tree. Fall down. <laughs> Enraged cop assaults children after falling from tree. <laughs> he knows what we'll do. <laughs> How does he know us this well already? Cretin cup. They like that word. <laughs> so's the branch he's sitting on. Cretin. Literally. 
Local children report corpse mutilation. There is um, the most distinct place I think of the word Cretan is in Akira. There's a point where he calls someone like what one of the gang members just says, "You're a Cretan." <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck yeah, climb that shit, monkeys. See, you're only making them do those things less. <laughs> yeah, if you say nothing, then you, you, what will Harry do? I mean, if you don't intervene, he'll get up to all sorts of mess. <laughs> Can you see the future, Kim? <laughs> no, I do not see the future. I made those up using two decades in the Revacholian police force as a reference point. <laughs> the newspaper titles. Uh, you're right, the risk is too high and there are too many. Yes, we should use acrobatics as the very last option. After we've tried everything normal. Oh, these have got to be the most fucking boring mulka parts I've ever seen. I, it seems like a lot of hassle. Well, let's not do it. <laughs> we are not getting him down already. <laughs> yeah. Not getting him down is a task that's already accomplished. My God, what happened Sadly, here? Sadly, it's not our job to keep him up there, but to get him down. Just pull his rotten head off. Oh. <laughs> Let's just pull his head off. The boot <laughs> and it's done. His bloody heads off. Uh, it's just... bloody head. <laughs> I just pull that off. It's tempting. It is. Decapitating <laughs> him will make it impossible to ascertain whether he was really hung. The damage to the neck would make coronary work pointless. Why am I so opposed to kicking him down when, like, I'm I'm about to say maybe we could shoot him down? <laughs> like, <I feel laughs> and he's like... gonna go with it. Yeah, I feel like kicking him down is the right option, Maple. I've never done that before. Is it the song branch one? I'm... Climb up there and I don't trust. I'm, I'm curious to see what clown cops. Clown How do we get that dialogue? Fuck. See, you're only making them do those things less. I'm not afraid of the newspapers. We shouldn't be. <laughs> oh no, we should be very afraid of newspapers hmm. and the radio stations too. We should be wary of enticing them in any way. So we're just gonna let those kids bully us into not doing our work. What I'm proposing is, we save acrobatic tricks as oh. a last result. After we've tried everything else. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe we shoot him down. Yeah! Bang, bang, time, pig! Shoot his head off! Most boring <laughs> whatever I've ever seen. Okay, good. I feel like it's fine that I skipped that dialogue. Um. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just, you know, shoot up there, maybe. <laughs> Point toward the branch. <laughs> Shoot the belt. The bullet will break it. It absolutely will not, officer. That's not how physics mm. work. It will maybe cut one thread loose. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the Kuno <laughs> and some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Take a shot, Lieutenant. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I'll blow his head off. Take it. Take a shot. <laughs> yeah, take I want to see it. <laughs> Kuno wants some of that shit. Silence. With his elbow sharp, Ooh. the lieutenant unzips his jacket. Shake just got serious. And produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. Mm -hmm. It's sweet foley. Yeah, it's it. I love that one. I was waiting for it. Securing it in place. Thank you, inter interfacing. <laughs> you he know what I like. Steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position. Ooh. Taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. He does it, partner. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fucking me! The pig's voice is drowned Damn. in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke oh, go on, give us a guy. parts in the mm -hmm. air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. <laughs> Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? It's okay, man. Kuno's sorry too. Kuno feels sorry for the Fino clan. <laughs> Jesus. The lieutenant doesn't say a word. Just uh, looks at the gun in his hand. Try again, maybe? Uh, what now? I'm gonna try again, maybe. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. He looks around the windows overlooking the yard. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. What now? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down Ooh. with all the assistance. Can I have a go? It's my turn with the gun. 
<laughs> we need Go to on, share give the us gun. Gunny. <laughs> yeah, Gunny <laughs> from Peep Show. Uh, can I have the gun? I should try it. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Pauses, then shrugs, and proceeds to load the pistol at the no, fucky I'm death. <laughs> Just don't lose it. He shines in his outstretched hand. <laughs> I only have one gun. <laughs> it's pretty funny to think about that. This is the oh, you've got a million rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of us wins? A million rocks versus one gun? Okay, like, <laughs> take the gun. Yeah, take it, you Feel the weight first. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal mm. is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. You've held uh, this trigger discipline. Got it. A nine armistice before. At some point, it probably used to be your choice of firearm. It still feels comfortable, like you never laid it down. <laughs> they always teach you instinctively put it on the trigger. For context, folks, you're not supposed to put your finger on the- Kuno is silent. Aggression gathers in the air. The trigger feels delicate and ready to break <laughs> my god. finger. Interesting feeling. Point the gun at the belt. Whoa! Focal comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting I bet wearing dish gloves while you do this is good. <laughs> I'm sure that, yeah, that's gonna give us a boost. Jesus. Point your gun at your ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, close your left eye first. Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the evening light as the corpse slowly rotates. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? Should we say shut up, or do you think we should just go for it? Just go for it. Shut yeah. up. You know, she's... Okay, one in four chance. This could, uh... I mean, we already got to Everett, so... Money. It's not gonna be too big of a deal if we, uh, miss, but okay. Aww. Every time. Yep. Oh! <clears throat> got him in the chest. A plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Your hand goes numb from the explosion. Oh, is it? Yeah, your far. Ears still ringing, you lower the weapon to see what happened. You missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight in the chest. Oh no! Bits of rib cage, but we took the, the picture before, so it's yep. fine. No Only a murky order. sludge dripping down his belly. The sudden stink makes your eyes water. Ugh. Oh my god! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. This is boring. Start crying. You're sensitive. It feels dry. Nothing comes out of you as you stretch <laughs> and bend your face into a crying shape. Can't even cry. Too furious to cry, apparently. Mm hmm. I've, yeah, I've seen. <laughs> this has been a pretty failing run right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, aren't save scumming, which is usually the way I play this game. I can't even cry. Throw the gun in the no. Try hard, really hard, <laughs> to cry. The lieutenant watches you jerk some tears. Aww. Your shoulders shaking and your eyes dry. The uh -oh. gun begins to slip from your fingers. Don't do that. Alone, oh my God. Can't even cry. Jesus, that this really almost killed us. The lieutenant gently picks his gun from your hand and holsters it. We still need to get him down mm. somehow. Uh, his tone growing tired now. The stretch, the stench marks, makes him turn away from the corpse. But how? The bad way. The way I didn't oh. want us to. He sighs. By asking the harbor for help. Oh. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. Uh, good job. We already found the way in the harbor. Hooray for us. <laughs> Won't that be dangerous? To ask the suspects for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Everard Claire? Ugh. Very much, yes. Which Nods. is why I would have preferred us to accomplish this feat ourselves. Clearly, we can't. Well, suck my dick, <laughs> bitches! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get... let's get to it, then. 
The man before you is naked, but for a pair of no, I can't. and white boots. As you narrow your only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. Mm. The cadaver slow. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's no way to get him down. Without having to deal with the guys. Pay with deal with payment, okay. Full gun, armor. Yep, yep. Yeah, wow, they gave us so many just from that. Makes sense, I mean. Mm. It is the murder. Ride right the dick, Kuno. Chat with Kim. Mm hmm I guess we have to chat with uh with uh the guy first, Gart. Deal with the uh costs. Oh, this place oh. is so disco. Aww. Very cozy. Hi, guard. Can I help you? It's about the money I owe. Yes. Have you got it? I was wondering if I could come to... <laughs> if we could come to some sort of arrangement for tonight. Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? <laughs> I'll pay back I tomorrow. I remember agreeing. Yeah, I, I, I kind of just listened to you. Come on, man, after everything I've been through. <laughs> Kim is about to say something. Let him. Yeah, let her, let her Kim speak for us. I understand your predicament as the manager. However. I, yeah, I'm, I, I didn't, I've never seen that method before, Maple, but I'm interested in seeing it. I mean, you, you could also be thinking of the roundhouse kick from, uh, from measure head because he's very like up straight standing so you can see those bodies getting similarly crossed i feel i must remind you that we are here to conduct an important investigation that also affects your business forgive My business. me for saying this but your colleague seems more committed to drinking and <laughs> i mean no offense it's really nothing personal i just have to protect the interests of this establishment <laughs> This conversation isn't going where, is it? I, I like the key uh, option. Hold on, I still have the key, you know. Good luck trying to use it. He taps his foot against the metal box installed in the back of the counter. Draconian measures. Oh. <laughs> All the locks have an electronic component. They have to be unlocked down here with mm. a master key before your guest key will open the lock. I'll find a way in. I'll break the door down. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just say the conversation isn't going anywhere, is it? Not until you bring me the money. Okay, I might have something in my motor Aww. carriage we can use when you're done. Mm. I really didn't want to resort to this. The man is thinking. Oh, Lieutenant, we're done here. <laughs> Goodbye. Kim to the rescue. I feel bad for Kim what, for what we're about to do. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. I have something here we could sell. Look in the back, in the suspect transport enclosure. Transport enclosure? Regular people just call it the cage. <laughs> Reaction speed. Yeah, you don't need a room. I'm a hobo cop. Look at the suspect transport enclosure. The cage at the back of the motor carriage looks rather uncomfortable. It's getting Four late in the game. hubcaps are stacked against the seat. The silver edges sparkle in the dark. Ooh. I confiscated this for a little while back. We can take them to the pawn shop down by the Martinez Canal. What are those things? They are spinner hubcaps. <laughs> frivolous things you put on your wheels. When the wheels come to a stop, the caps keep on spinning. There's no real use for them. It's just <laughs> <a> vanity. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like an amazing physics demonstration. <laughs> what do you mean by confiscated them? A couple of weeks ago, I stopped a young man for going hmm. slower than the speed of traffic. What? Turns out he was some coalition official's son, and hi. Oh, <laughs> so you took his spinners? Mm -hmm. I took them and arrested him for driving under the influence. Oh, good man, Ka uh, Kim. I get it. I would have confiscated them too. <laughs> They're mesmerizing. <laughs> that they are. I was going to take them into evidence. But they weren't necessary for conviction. He hmm. never asked for them back. Oh. Did you want to put them on the spinners on your machine? Point said Kanima. No, no, that that would be silly. I just <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I kept them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I couldn't put them on this MC anyway. A cop with spinners. That would be outrageous. Yes, outrageously cool. 
Cool. She flashes a smile, barely visible in the dark. So cute. One, says Maple. <laughs> it's only the right thing we sell them. Say nothing. Maybe I should say nothing. He's doing this for me. I should just accept it. Yeah. The spinners shine so bright, they reflect on the lieutenant's glasses. He doesn't say anything either. <laughs> Said something about a pawn shop. Yes, there's one 100 meters south of here. I think it's called Roy's Nest or something. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, it should be open late. Thanks, I appreciate your help. Take the spinners. The lieutenant nods as you take the spinners. Close the door. Time for pawn. Oh, hell yeah. This guy's pretty chill. <laughs> Roy's Pawn Shop. Fast cash for faster times. Hello. Whoa. Some kind of machine. An antique cash register? We demand spinners. I wish we could put them on the Kinema. In the dark, the film projector is wearing away. Wearing in rags. The bu Ooh, a bust of a woman. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> D-E-I. Hmm. It's better than D-I-E, I guess. Mostly <laughs> military wear. <laughs> With a few more eccentric fashion thrown in. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just talk to him first. It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my it's not often that I see them. <laughs> The man in the, at the counter turns too slowly. What can I do for you? He's taking things slow. His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector. <laughs> just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. You know, I, I have insect tendencies too. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting you. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Flashes a I smile. Guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, <laughs> Birds nest Roy. People looking for a deal. People looking for a keepsake. People who are terminally bored. <laughs> As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. <laughs> Typical vacuous consumerist objects <laughs> <laughs> capitalist core quite a collection i may have something to add to it oh yeah that's a cute way to, i like that um honestly i think some of your selections are presses your fingers to your lips more tasteful than others <laughs> yeah let's uh let's say i have something i might add to it it keeps me entertained his attention is drawn once more to the play of light and shadow on the wall behind you. Entertained? He Ooh. might be high. Hmm. If he is, on what? Ah. Uh, you got the drugs? Yeah, please. I have some other business to take care of. Uh, drugs. Welcome to the pawn shop. Um... Nothing here is like... Oh, we have two electrochemistry chem from something else. Just curious what other thing is giving me electrochemist. Oh, it's my pants. <laughs> it's my... <laughs> <laughs> Greetings on this fine night. What brings you here? What do you know that it... Wait. Uh, you do know that it's not really a fine night. The weather is terrible. How come you're still open? Uh, it's cool that you're still open. Big city vibes. <laughs> The pawn shop is always open. Ooh. Take me down to the pawn shop. Roy doesn't really sleep, so that's helped me. Okay. <laughs> that's cute. That's a really high chance. Feeling yes. warm and enthralled Ooh. by the movement of Ow. light. Serious success. While the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on Parolidon. It's tough to come by on the street. Ah. Uh. Parolidon? What's, what is that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects, and it makes your eyes turn yellow. <laughs> what a what a Ooh. bonus. People usually, you know, have a very hard time yeah, with yellow contacts. Mm -hmm. Usually very itchy, I've heard. 
is it just me or is it really warm in here? Sir, could you take off your sunglasses? I'd like to check your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so where does a man get some <laughs> hydrol these days? How would I know? Uh, he takes a step back, studying you. It's pretty obvious that you're under the influence. No judgment, I'm just curious. Probably did loads of that before I lost my memory. Chill out, man. I'm chill. I'm a chill out cop who I'm just a wants- cool cop. I'm not yeah. like the other cop. We just want some- yeah, some of what you're having, wink. We're- we're definitely not a narc. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend you. Drop the subject. If you don't want any drugs, that's wrong. I'm gonna wink at him. <laughs> <laughs> just for flirting. is just something I- you know, since the people's power disaster. <laughs> he coughs as if to mark his words. I was with the emergency relief brigade. Had to take it for radiation sickness. Oh. He's taken for mental and emotional, hmm. not physical pain these days. The people's pile, what's that? A bad idea. Some <laughs> poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. <laughs> it malfunctioned. No. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you too. Mm -hmm. I saw a video that's kind of fucked up that's related to that, where it had something to do with like, I want to look into the video again because I want to get the facts right, but it was about like how pitted glass is a thing, how, how mm. like, some some weird radiation thing happened, and because like the only way people had evidence that it actually took place, like this weird radiation experiment in the United States, was that like I think Kodak film cameras started getting like little spots in them, like like radiation spots in an undeveloped oh. camera. And so the, the thing I'm getting at is I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like very well known like radiation things that have happened in the Midwest that I can like directly say that there are parts of a radiation accident inside of me technically. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I mean, like it, it's like with everyone who's in the Midwest, though, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> just a little treat for living in the Midwest. I think it's just something about like calcium in your bones. And something weird about it. Uh, maybe, well, maybe it's, maybe it's that just sounds some, fine. Yeah, it's it's okay to have some radioactive particles emitting yeah. from your bones, right? I'd like mingling to... with all the microplastics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you know, I we eat bananas. Like there's radiation in us. <laughs> it's just <laughs> we eat bananas. I state as a fact. <laughs> <laughs> we collectively. <laughs> Everyone here, we eat bananas, right? <laughs> They're little radiation engines. Little pocket of radiation in that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Putting it in your bones. Banana God. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about this emergency relief brigade you were a part of. We were an all-volunteer force. Self-organized. Tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. Aw. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance. Didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help Aww, out. It's so sweet. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. No. Looks at the spiraling lights and stops. It must have been rough, radioactive cleanup. There's a reason why everyone's it's trying to forget any of it ever happened. And mm. why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. So much disappointment. An early death. Cancer, mostly. And we knew all that was coming, even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Whose fault was it that the generator failed? No one's. Everyone's. He sighs and shakes his head. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, <laughs> hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? Jeez, how'd you end up running a pawn shop? The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. <laughs> Later, my second aunt died. Left me this shack and all the assorted junk in it. So I came to Martinez. People told me don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, and they were right. we just had a nuclear <laughs> pile meltdown. I'm going to get as far away from Forberg as I can. Still in the same city, but... Thank you for telling me. I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. Hmm. Yeah, 
You gotta get in on those vortices, <laughs> my man. Yeah, can you share some of that with me? I'm curious, I guess. I mean, electrochemistry wants to know. Mm. Have you tried it before? The lieutenant steps away, <laughs> pretending to admire some <laughs> Respecting of the us. on mm -hmm. display. Looks like he doesn't want to get involved. Let's, you know, just let him try his drugs. Go ahead then, he <laughs> thinks. As long as you can walk straight, I don't care. Hmm. I ride the pyro every day. Uh, I haven't, but don't worry, I can take it. Okay. If you say so, here you go, man. He presents a large cap-shaped object with a with the palm of his hand. Very odd looking. Yes, darling. That's the coalition government ordained parolidor. Called us darling. Straight Aww. into your gut. Darling. <laughs> Thanks, man. Takes the druggy drug. Of course. Ooh. There's something I'd like to sell. Yes. We'd like to sell these hubcaps. The lieutenant steps in and hands him the spinners. Roy takes the hubcaps from the lieutenant and inspects them. The spinners appear iridescent in the dancing light of his potential. <laughs> I feel like it's perfect for Roy. Yes, <laughs> these are very, very good. Did you defraud some foreign prince <laughs> for them? <laughs> Jump a mask back. You kind of did. <laughs> no matter. I'll give you 200 rial. No one was defrauded or jumped. Hmm. I assure you. The lieutenant explains to the pawnbroker, opens the register, and counts the cash. Of course. I meant no offense. 200 real for you, officer. Delightful doing business with you. Do come again. Thank you. He takes the cash and turns to you. 130 real you need for your bill. Do not Ooh. waste it. Nice. Anything else? I'm going to go buy that board game. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, let's be a hobo cop now. We we got the funds to just live off the land. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse here. Show him the photo. <laughs> Why not? Oh no, I don't like oh, those kinds huh. of objects. No sale. Barely looks at it. <laughs> Do you know what the tattoos tattoos mean? A photic path. Oh. Counter radiance network. Oh. Anti magnetism. It's darkness. That's all I know. I'd like to sell my clothes. Tell me something lighter. I'm just curious to see what that does. I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the hmm. moment. He looks you up and down quickly. I'll check my pockets, access your pawn menu. Anything Whoa. else you're thinking of selling? Okay, let's close for now. I don't have anything to sell at the moment. Another time, perhaps. Do you know anything about the traffic menace on the loose? You might be able to aid in our investigation. Uh, well, let's come back to him. Yeah. Okay. It's getting late. Mm -hmm. Gotta wrap up with Kim. And Kim and Harry are together. They always wrap it up. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the case, you mean, right? Uh, they always wrap up the case. Just doesn't reply. Right? <laughs> just doesn't reply. <laughs> money. Yes. Have you got it? I have the money. I well. <laughs> love when I give you an out and you don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sorry cop. Um, slams the bill down on the counter. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> you could say that more affectionately, I guess, but fine. Jeez. Great. Perfect. I hope you enjoy Ooh, your 70. freezing cold room with wow. the window you broke yourself. <laughs> the electronic lock to your room has been disabled till 9 p.m. tomorrow. I, I, <laughs> the translation from, from 2100 to 9 p.m. I... <laughs> Starting tomorrow, please pay for each night. Oh, advance. shit. 20 real per night. If you don't have the money, it's over for you. Got it? Oh, that sucks. You've got to nowhere else to stay. Find a way to make money now. I'll take a room here too. Ah. Always happy to have officers from the RCM as guests. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> oh, always. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's been truthful there. Let me and Kim have a room to go to. With a balcony yeah, view. Yeah, sharing. Mm-hmm. Sharing the same bed. And life. Whoa.
Yes. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> that's a, that's fun. Sexy dark mystery twist. I, I like that. Yeah, convince him of that. Um, I'm just curious to see what Kim Drive with the whirling around balcony. Well, we're here. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to him again. Yes. Let's convince him. Only oh. Banal mm, standard. <laughs> the core, you're or a one under. Person with a very small soul. Oh. One you should be. Oh my God. Ashamed of. It's no one that oh. soft one doesn't want it. it Damn. To abandon you. It's no wonder the soft one doesn't want it back. That's so sad. Tell me about the case again. Uh, I want to talk to you about you. No, I guess case for what now. What do you want to know? Now that we've inspected the scene, I want to know more about... <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to say that. Um, <laughs> how do we get this dialogue option to talk to him? Hmm. Yes. Something seems wrong here. Let me Google it. Oh. Just gonna double check it too. Um, join him at the Whirling and Rags balcony after that. When you are calling it a day. Oh, maybe you have to go to your apart your house and then he'll like This is the door. You trigger this door. task at the end of day one. It. Okay, got it. Yeah. Oh, well I accidentally I mean we're we're pretty much wrapping up with day one. This is a fine place. So there wasn't anything else we wanted to do except talk to Kim. Yeah. Let's see if saying goodnight, Kim uh, is okay. Just a moment. Lieutenant, night, there we go. We had some questions earlier, I believe. And besides, we should discuss our progress on the investigation. Let's go out to the balcony. Sorry to interrupt your goodnight, Kim, Kim by the way. Good night, Kim. <laughs> All right, let's go. Bunk beds, aw. <laughs> The air outside is brisk. The lieutenant is silent Whoa. for a moment. He listens to the traffic hum. Then... Where shall we begin? We should Ooh. talk about the investigation, first and foremost. But I also remember you wanting to discuss the RCM. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I know you smoked, Kim. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. <laughs> oh, man. He looks so devastatingly... Cool with that cigarette. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. A cigarette. A cigarette is such a great idea. I think I'm going to have one too. You're cold, detective. Again, I only have exactly one every night. I wish I had one <laughs> in my hand right now because I have them in my pocket. Below, yeah. <laughs> the city trembles with its remaining Whoa. lights. People are rushing home, running away from home, smoking, sleeping, hmm. singing in the shower. Edges of dining tables, hands, aprons flicker through windows before the lights go out. I don't know what's going on with the audio, but... There. Got excited. It really did. How'd you get so cool, Kim? You mean this? This isn't cool. <laughs> it's Wrong. an unnecessary trial of will. And unhealthy. Aw. Damn. Kim knows. Keeping the habit within the parameters he's given himself. He only doesn't focus, want us to smoke it because be it'll be competition for how cool we look. <laughs> he wants to be the superstar cop. That's his, that's been his goal all along. Mm hmm. Hey, you yes, stand next to us and it just makes you look great. He mm -hmm. would lose the cool factor. This man relishes <laughs> his cool quite a bit below it all. <laughs> it took, I don't know why it took me a second to get that one saying. Uh. Right then, the debrief. Yes, it's been a long and even full day. I feel like I didn't get that one instantly because I might fall into that category. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls on the cigarette. I thought that's why you had me here. <laughs> no, this has all been a puff piece for you, Saint, of course. <laughs> uh, how do you think today went? <laughs> I shot a dead body. Well, we inspected the victim's body. So that's good. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. It's not easily approachable in that state. But our inspection could have been more thorough, as it always can. But we have some leads we can follow up on. Then you shot him in the chest. Yeah. Which wasn't ideal. And we still have to get him down from the tree. 
<laughs> I just wanted to make sure he was really dead. <laughs> Man, I'm a little out of practice. I'm a little rusty, but I mean, I'm sure we could work on that. Being sober also tends to help with precision. But moving on to the interviews. We conducted an interview with Everard Claire. Yeah, it's pretty big on day one. He wasn't particularly forthcoming with useful information, however. I'm sure I can get him to tell us more. He's a, he's a tough cookie, that one. I'm not gonna... No. Oh, he's a tough cookie. I'll, that, that's like saying you're intimidated by him without saying it. He has stuff on me. Claire also helped you... How should I say? Remember your name? That's a relief. <laughs> Kim is thankful for that. Oh, big relief. It's a very serviceable name, too. I mean... Moving on. <laughs> Kim doesn't want to talk about it. We talked to Joyce <laughs> Messier, but didn't get any information from her. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation get really is. Get any information we from her? Um, to us. Excuse me. What, what do you think all of episode one was? What, <laughs> what <do> you... <laughs> that was info dumping by <laughs> Joyce, the episode. Yeah, that, that's all it was. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? Hmm. You run a lot. Is that a standard Precinct 41 practice? Actually. I have a really good theory about why you're running so fast, son. <laughs> Just you wait until we get up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. I'm on all different types of things. I'm curious, did I ever... That thing that the guy gave me, is it like in my inventory, I wonder? The the drugs. Uh, I don't like to waste time, you know? My mind moves fast. The rest tries to keep up. Has to try and keep up. <laughs> uh, trying to be a long distance runner I want to raise money for charity yeah it's just how we roll in precinct 41 I think that's the case because I, I like the term jam rock shuffle that they bring up every so often <laughs> it's impressive especially for a man your age <laughs> and in those heels <laughs> he nods thoughtfully tapping his finger on his cigarette nice shoes by the way I like the green goes with the orange oh my god a fashionista Looks at your snakeskin boots and smiles suddenly. Uh. So what are you? What are our powers exactly? The MCR. They're quite limited, actually. The power of my chemical of the natural citizens may be exercised most frequently. MCR. <laughs> is imposing fines of up to one thousand real for offenses in accordance with an interdepartmental schedule. That was one out more. The RCM's primary role is to ensure safety. We are not really supposed to play any part in the economic structure of Ravachol. Wouldn't that be an easy power to abyss? Yes, although indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Officers of the RCM have been known to take I've seen YouTubers. less than the prescribed fine amount. Oh yeah? It undermines trust in the RCM. I've seen one YouTuber, Name so like... one. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Raccoon Pizza Party. <laughs> The only one. Um, I've seen YouTubers who are into weird drama who, like, g go after <laughs> the police records. It's just like, okay. God. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so this person says they followed up this allegation with the police, and so I checked all the local jurisdictions, and none of them knew what I was talking about. It's like, dude, what? Well, There's what? a word for this, and it's <laughs> vigilanteism. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. That's not your job. <laughs> But it is. It is their it, job. It story. is. They made it, it their job. Yeah, a true crime podcaster is now the reason why <laughs> police records are being... So whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, what else? We can arrest people, of course. But rather than bringing someone in directly, it's preferable to serve a station cold sleep. It prevents confusion and overcrowding. Like, I understand doing it in the case, <laughs> in like a big case situation, like wanting to know more about what's going on, but yeah, it's always like little YouTuber drama and trying to let it, it's like, <laughs> it's like targeted harassment at that point when you're... <laughs> I, I watched two awful Netflix oh. documentaries today. One was a British documentary about NFTs and <laughs> Damien Hurst's NFT thing he did. Oh no. And the other was about 4chan. God, disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it counts as self-harm at that point, watching both in one day. Uh, how are you here? <laughs> uh, wait, how can we be sure the arrestee will show up? You can't. Hmm. Those who don't show up become fugitives. The point I was making was internet horrible. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. It's about power projection. 
Thus far, they seem to mostly show up. I see, and if someone resists? As you may have gathered from the fact that we are expected to carry a record of our kills, like the one in your watermarks, <laughs> we are permitted to use whatever force is necessary, and strongly admonished not to abuse that power. <laughs> Leave us to shower after hearing. <laughs> the... Yeah, me too. Oh. I'd shower after watching him. <laughs> Wait, so if I kill someone on duty... Dot, dot, dot. You have to supply compelling evidence for why it was mm. necessary to use lethal force. Compelling? Case, not just any evidence. <laughs> Look, he raised his hand. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly by cross-examining you for inconsistencies. It is hard to cover for anyone, <laughs> which is for the best. There's nothing inconsistent about Harry, I don't think. No. He's, he, he's very sure of himself. You mean Raphael? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing inconsistent about Harry. I, I mean Raphael. <laughs> uh, what happens to the people we convict? We don't convict. We arrest what and send to them? them to coalition government courts in Couron and La Delta. The prosecution mm. works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. There's so much like floating trash and the at the whirling in rags. Just see all these particles of like papers drifting around. <laughs> uh, I guess that's probably more common by the sea. Um, who makes all the rules? Certainly was when I lived by it. Mm. The coalition government and the moral intern more broadly. The lamp over there, by the way, looks pretty cool. I like how that's built. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore order in the international zone after the revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. No more, no less. His gaze is... Absently fixed on the window below that just went dark. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form. It's a point of contention whether the citizens of Relachol or the coalition government formed the DRCM. <laughs> well, what, well, why would I have to say, let's say, I, yeah, I'll say nothing, I guess. Silence. A great comment to such a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. Fence Sitter. Nice, nice silence there. Yeah, I hate centrists too, Kim. So. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raphael, why did you select that one? Um, <laughs> the moral, m moral in turn. Ah, what is that? The Moralist International are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the revolution failed. If I didn't know, how would you describe them? They're a union of center-left and center-right parties across the real belt. Hmm. Oh, they sound like Raphael's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, <main> project. <laughs> lots of centering. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations in the world. All I'm saying is he did say Insane Clown Posse is involved. Jesus Christ. Uh, what do you believe in? What do they believe in? What do they believe in? They are Dolorians. They believe <laughs> oh. they continue the humanist project set forth by her innocence Dolores Day mm. four centuries ago. Other humanism are just technocrats. What is their symbol? What kind of question? Interesting question. It's a blue <laughs> forget me not. Their motto is love, compassion, self discipline. I think you can gauge what mm. they want you to think of them from that. <laughs> That's cool. Something ominous. Something even a little feminine. Oh. But in a strict manner. I find flowers pretty feminine. I like when girls wear flowery dresses. Uh, <laughs> who is Dolores Day? A historic figure. The author of the modern age. You he will thinks. have to look elsewhere for opinions. The subject of humanism is too abstract for me. <laughs> for you, she is something painful. Though it's hard to say why. Why is Dolores Day painful, I wonder? <laughs> What do you think of them? The moral intern are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until they change. And oh dear, we have an opinion. That's about to happen. Uh oh, I have an opinion about moral intern. Do you? Uh oh. The lieutenant arches his brow. The then pulls on a cigarette. The slim white thin. It's a slim white thin thing <laughs> in his fingers. Um. Hey, that's us. We're slim white. <laughs> God damn it, we can't avoid it. <laughs> On second thought, I don't have an opinion. Forget it. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, 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 mm. Uh... <laughs> no, I want to be ultra-liberal. I want money. 
Money. Uh, they've done an awful job. Have you seen this place? Uh, this isn't humanism. Uh, we have to give them here. Give us the right to police in Rivishall. Uh... Hmm. Want to flip a coin? Yeah, let's flip a coin. Heads for one, tail for tails for two. I think. Sweet, I'm not culpable. One. In fact, we would need them even if you didn't think that way. See, we are the in what is called the Charter of International <laughs> Law. Yeah. The laws we claim to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply vigilantes. Hmm. Actually, Vigilante is okay with me. Uh, maybe we can make our own law. <laughs> uh, let's, let's be cowboys. Then you will adore Martinez. For many of these people, the Union especially, Vigilantes is precisely what we are. I am Personally, the law. I don't enjoy it much. Very Raphael. I said the roundabout. The lights of the orphan district are reflected in his glasses. The red and golden orbs of the motorway sliding like pearls on a string from east to west as Revachal commutes back to the suburbs. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Monday is over. Aww. Oh, Gandalf didn't... Yeah, <laughs> Gandalf's cracker. Ah, uh, say nothing, just look into the night. The dying lights of the city shimmer below. Slowly. Like luminous clouds, they pass on his lenses. The lieutenant looks at his slim cigarette, contemplating the next drag. Hmm. This soldier is the highlight of the day for me. Aww. He thinks, this little stick right here. He's having his little smoke. They really don't like us here. And the mouth on that kid, Kuno. It's different in land, in Jamrock, in the GRIH. <laughs> Why are they like this? Why are they like this? It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the union, to the company, not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks, the jurisdictions of our two precincts. And in Jamrock? Yeah, and... no one cares about Revishal. No. We run this city. West of the river is our CM land. He looks at the dark silhouette on the uh, of the equestrian monument cutting into the night sky it's talking about haunts it's incredibly hard human beings are but we are in control and it's worth it the organization works our systems work if they didn't the city would disintegrate let's hope our investigation will help improve the situation here at least uh do some good me too but I wouldn't count on any drastic changes in our lifetimes. Thank you for this. Leave. Yeah, it's wow. getting very cold now. Let's go. Wow. Good night, Kim. Night, night, Kimi. Oh. Very sweet moment with our Kim. Mm. With our shared Kim. My God, we've done it, Squid. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in the morning. We've done a whole day. Yep, we've done a whole day, and we're definitely not going for the boots right now. Bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, he's, he's gone. I'm just curious to see what happens if we go down there, okay? I, I think we need to wait for him to be on the ground first, but still. Yeah, probably, but maybe we can just tug him off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, won't be the first time I've... <laughs> I won't say that, uh... Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Oh, there's a newspaper. Oh, wow, good night. What's this guy's deal? What's this guy's swinging cock doing here? <laughs> Let's look at his wide stance. Oh, it's all about money, you know. <laughs> Kuno's still out here doing the shit he is. <laughs> Fucking is. Can we redo this check, maybe? There are several sitting at a desk. Yeah. Whoa, wait, hold on. What was that? There are sitting at a desk. Lieutenant Kitsuragi fiddles with a pen, then writes something on the paper in front of him. He shouldn't be doing that. 
He should be here <laughs> discussing the footprints. Aw, he should be with me. Kim I know that be with us. the man before you is Fairly naked, feeling. but for a pair of underpants yeah, and I can't. white boots. Oh wait, maybe. The material maybe. delicate and fragile. No. no. The cadaver okay. slow. Yeah, I think it's just quicker if I... Look at, look at Kuno reload. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll take this. Might as well have it around, even though we're not going to wear a shirt. Why would we ever... What have we been missing out on by not having that? Was that? It is satin. That's got to be pretty disco. Ah, good point. Yeah, wow. Oh, it's just. Oh no, it's. Oh, it's. The... I automatically equipped it, because it's like one of the first shirts you get. So I guess it did that by default. Yeah, white satin shirt. It's used. It used to be fancy. It really. It used to be really catch of the light. Fuck. It used to. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. Great. Well, if you're having a good time. Yeah, I mean, when in Rome. Do as the Romans did. <laughs> the bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. Ah, this the thing. The sheets look awful. This thing looks disgusting. <laughs> this pile. Crawl in. I'm sure we get a nice... Uh, night's the rest. sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes. Does sleep come? And then sleep doesn't come. Oh. No! And then sleep doesn't come. Again? I guess. But, but I want to sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your eyes closed, but it's not happening. Why? Maybe it's the bed's fault. Check the pillow. Its synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. <laughs> the pillowcase smells odd. Oh no, check the blanket. It barely covers your toes. No! Stretching over your soft belly. <laughs> this is your no. body air, Intimate and warm. Breathing. Under your thrumming eyelids, you see a dizzying array of colors. You won't get off this carousel quite so easily. Blow over to the other side. It's a little better. <laughs> Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? Who killed him? Who? Something to do with... What was it that the lieutenant said? Union? <laughs> and it's gone again. Yep. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. Ugh, very relatable. No more thoughts. Fall asleep now. Your Head breathing empty. steadies. <laughs> A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images, images start forming. Oh. Um. Oh, oh, a party. Oh, a disco party oh, oh. for oh. Harry. Do you remember oh my the goodness. of your childhood? That's cool. What is this? What it says on the can, Harry. Answer the question. I was born in a hospital where people usually go to die. Well, that's edgy, but sure. You're not kidding anyone, Harry. You don't remember <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tell me, do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Tell me what this is. I'm not answering before you tell me who you are. You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs, between her legs and in her mouth? Is this guy flying with us? <laughs> I mean, the, the gravel in his voice is implying that. I'm gonna yell at him. You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her, and then later in the streets, wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? I was left. That's right, funky baby. Funky baby. And you just stood there. One funky hand baby. on the bottle and the other on my your disco funky dick. baby. <laughs> Watching her go. 
Let it all be dragged away from you. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Uh, where we are furries. Are <laughs> yeah, human beings, excuse me. I'm can I'm canceling the bloated corpse of a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's the thing. It's like, you know, on the internet, when you like there are certain conditions where if you try canceling a person, you'll be ending up canceling like Captain Dickhead 42. <laughs> like you'll be <laughs> you'll be canceling like a person who's all already knows they're awful. I don't know. <laughs> uh Yes, the attention I wanted. Thank yeah. you. That's <laughs> what they seek. Um I can get it all back. No, it's gone. Three times gone and never coming back. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium, I mean, besides the title? Everything. The pile and the Isolus. On the surface. The outer magnetosphere. <laughs> Burning, furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. <laughs> 4.6 billion people. And you failed every single one of them. <laughs> I think you I've been playing really for like six up. hours for the first time. And I got to this bit in the game and I was like, you know what? It's time for a break. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty intense. <laughs> God. I've talked to you before. I remember your voice. No, Harry. You were just talking to yourself. Mopa. That's all you ever do. Even in your dreams. And the mm -hmm. act is wearing thin. It's really good, Maple. The spots of the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snake skins in no time. <laughs> Sweating up the bay. Stinky boy. Yes. Stinky boy. Stinky boy. Oh, ho, ho. I can come back from this. You're not coming back. I can come to shit. that, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do a stinky boy. Yeah. High conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. <laughs> it's all I got. Who are you kidding? If I'm not a clown, what am I? I'm trying to solve, trying to solve this case. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. <laughs> this is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, <laughs> this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. Oh god, there's another type? Oh, oh I yes, already knew the, from the main boy, three, but, but there's more. <laughs> worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too, so soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head, like hmm. clockwork, barely let you sleep at all. Oh, I love this next line. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. This next one. Time to go to work <laughs> in the shit factory. Oh, <laughs> so don't hug me, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, it's so easy. <laughs> Time to go to work in the... <laughs> oh, we healed, okay. See, so, look, my voice cracks come in handy for some things. <laughs> Oh, wait, see, look, look at this bottle. Do you see the shit? <laughs> look at these little, ooh, that peeves me off. Ooh. Good going, buddy. <laughs> Good going, buddy. Oh God, what the hell was that? Oh, just a dream. <laughs> just a dream. You have ones like that all the time. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. Uh, what the hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Hmm. Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Oh, I know what he needs. Uh oh, why is this happening? I mean, electrochemistry is talking to me, so I have a feeling I know what he needs. 
It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Mm -hmm. Time to get more. <laughs> Time to get some more. Don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing this to yourself. I want to learn about what, what, what cocaine is. Wait, what is speed? <laughs> speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. Ooh. That kept you propped Space up all age day stuff. yesterday, despite your debilitating hangover. Hmm. How else did you think you even got up from this floor? <laughs> you got up from this floor because of a holy vow you made 16 years ago with me. With volition. To wake up exactly 7.30 every morning <laughs> until the day you die. That's so fun. <laughs> Don't be silly. There was no vow. Don't be silly. It was the drugs. Speed. Yes. That was the only reason you got up. You can't detect without it. Hmm. It's that simple. And to get more of that then. Uh, detecting is my life. <laughs> we're getting drugs, right? Saying, I mean, look at us. We're. Is there any reason for us not to? Look at how high all of these things are. Yeah, we're we're a drug machine. <laughs> Six electro. We're... Yeah, there's we're... no way we're not doing drugs. Like, <laughs> of course, Martin. Yeah, live a little. It's what our central. audience wants. You, you know, <laughs> audience is very Fun drug friendly. Pose. You and Speed will be happy again. You and okay. Speed and ball. sniff it. <laughs> sniff this it. This time. It will be different. Yeah, this time I'll I'll do speed the best. Maple's been having a good time lately. Charlie's sibling quite likes to take that uh, of an evening. <laughs> I know it's supposed to relax you, Just huh? Just to relax, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... <laughs> Look at all these fucking... It's good. I'm glad you liked it, Maple. The window stands broken. Oh, do we get a frame. Oh my god. Cold wind blows in. Look at us not get this. The show Thank God. face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Do I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Uh, what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Something you've done before. Oh, assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small. I didn't for throw a bullet at it. Furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. I'll just look down then. The shoe you found on the balcony fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been oh. heavy enough if thrown with force. Uh, hi, Saint. Yeah? Oh, okay. Your your character is moving for a second. I thought you weren't... I, I was coughing. <laughs> okay, right. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> right, being able to mute that and all. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off <laughs> and smashed the window with it. I'm sure I had a good reason for it. Maybe I was trying to hit someone. And maybe, just maybe, you succeeded. Mm. We'll never know. Or maybe you were trying to smash your own reflection in the window pane. That sounds really accurate. Damn. That's cool that Inland Empire is the one who would know that. <laughs> it's like something that you don't like logically deduce. It's like your emotions deduced it. Just looking around because, you know, um... You can sometimes find things like bottles like look oh, hey well look at that hey what's this it'd be nice if they you know showed that but oh wait look <laughs> is that okay you see a faint bottle there right like where my mouse is it's a little it looks like a wine bottle i don't see the mouse on the discord capture oh really okay interesting that shows up on the uh, other capture where's my kim my chemical romance <laughs> MKL. <That's... laughs> MKL. <Ultra. laughs> um, let's knock on Kim's door. <laughs> Let me in. He's probably already downstairs. The door is closed. Still nothing. You should punch a fucking hole in it. Fucking hole. <laughs> that felt good. Everyone is a whore. Now punch a hole in the door. Don't. Everyone is a whore. Don't. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> Breathe in and walk away. 
You slam your fist into the vinyl. It does not produce. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love these options. In the frame, and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. <laughs> not to mention great exercise. Oh, at least we got that going for us. We did get the drugs. Ooh, plus the psych. Pretty little puck shaped cap of purple liquid that can bring on anything from hot flashes to military grade psychosis with sufficient. Ooh, yeah, that's what we're looking for in military grade. <laughs> With sufficient tolerance, however, it can make any weather feel uh, balmy, if only for a, a while. What does balmy mean? Like hot and, and comfortable. Oh, cool. I like how, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That affects your psych. I mean, it puts you into psychosis. <laughs> Military grade, even. Oh! The, uh, that nook is open now. Thank you, camera. Those guys are there. Yeah. Uh, if Maple's hanging out, you know the scene I'm thinking of. Yep, you said, oh no. I'm thinking of the same scene, Maple. This is when. Good okay. morning. You shoot. <laughs> yeah, talk to Kim. Good morning. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to see that option, Maple, because it's so wild. We will, we'll see. Uh, he gives you a quick nod. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union mess have turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. <laughs> Why do we need to talk to them? Why do we need to talk to the union? <laughs> this is clearly the union's peacekeeping force Evrard told us about. Oh. The one he said hanged our victim. We can't be sure, of course. Evrard may have lied to us. He definitely Evrat. has an agenda of his own. Either way, we need to interview them, and it won't be easy. It, it, I love how it, it, to me, it almost feels like every, like, day in this is like a whole movie. That's how, how, yeah. like, long these days are. It's, it feels great. It's like, it's like if you like a series, but if they were just made of movies. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, rowdy? I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. These men here. Men who drink beer for hmm. breakfast. Hmm. I have no doubt these are the hearty boys Evra told us about. The who doesn't like who a man who only eats beer? Here. And the big one must be hearty himself. He's hearty, all right. Uh, he squints his eyes, studying the men in the mess hall. Are these the men Gart told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. Aww. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. Thinking about those hubcaps. <laughs> one loose thread less to worry about, and one big problem to replace it. It's okay, Kim. Someday you'll get to sleep in that sweaty couch with, with Harry. <laughs> There's so many of them. Maybe we could call in reinforcements? That would just escalate We tensions. can call in reinforcements? No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. Debarders? In fact, the even Baldur's the Gate. death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? He's not exaggerating about that mortal danger. Just calmly factoring it in. He's right. Your fists clench and your pulse rises. Oh my god. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them <laughs> and continue with our business. No, we need to make a statement. We need to wake up and talk to them. Good. A power move. Purposefully oh. concentrate on something else first. Mm. Yeah, streetwise. Zoom right past. Do it on your own terms. Okay, well, they're kind of really encouraging me. They're in no hurry. <laughs> they think they own the place. Anyway, I leave They the think they to you. own the place. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Cool. I'm like curious. Are there like bottles on here I can collect too? I mean, I just don't know. Um. I want to talk to her. I want to talk to everyone. Let's talk to her. If just a moment. You have to talk to me. Mm-hmm. She's so good. The old woman turns back to the cafeteria manager. She's agitated. Oh. Judging from the way she keeps pulling at the frayed edge of her blanket. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. I like Gert's voice a lot. Sorry for the inconvenience, mm. ma'am. Uh, the cafeteria manager appears genuinely apologetic. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. Mm -hmm. 
She turns back to you with I'm a smile. Glad to see you again, dear. Aw, good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone Don't stop isn't me. Working. I will. Yeah, of course we will. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. It's true. Or to the phone booth down it's the It's really high upstairs. And Gary's phone is dead too. Oh, Gary, no. Gary's his her husband. Wait, what's wrong with the phone line? The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something <laughs> to look into later. Ask God, maybe. I love how obsessed interfacing is with phones, because it makes total sense. Punching in the numbers. <laughs> uh, why'd you need to use the phone anyway? To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were ah. supposed to get back by Monday night. I like them. But they're it's fun still when you missing, meet them. and I haven't heard from them. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Wee buttons. Exactly, Charlie. Okay, I'll bite. Uh, has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. Grandma. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. Grandma always gives me green ape pens. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of reeds. Something sweet in it. Sunlight. Mm -hmm. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. But you mm. have more important things to worry about. I'm very happy we chose a Shivers run, by the way. I'm just, it keeps paying off. She glances out the window toward the bay. What is this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. Ooh. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. <laughs> we ruined this community so hard. We'll be keeping them. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't remember it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not. It's not us. We're, we're someone new. We after we woke up that day. The water lock that was broken. Could this be it? Wait, who's the scary person? Do you trust him? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing like that. She smiles. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. The water lock to the other side of the coast is broken. They're probably just stuck over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? You may not believe it, but it looks like some maniac crashed his motor carriage into it. Uh, wouldn't you know? It's blocked by a big butter billboard. It fell on it right into the water. It's just a technical problem. <laughs> let's be, yeah, it's probably just technical problems. Well, that's whatever funny. the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. God damn, we're like you stacked on points this episode. This night. Aww. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological Ooh. mystery with that extremely rare insect. He seems very excited about this yeah, Inland yeah, Empire. Yeah. And if you see yeah. him, let him know Lena is waiting <gasps> for him here Except at task. the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. <laughs> it's cold out there. Aw. If I see him, I'll let him know you're here when or if I get there. Except to task. Um, I've really spent too much time on this side case as it is. <laughs> no. No. Oh, you're such a dear. Yes. Thank you, sweetie. No. <laughs> I'm not a deer. I'm a Harry. I'm a I'm a Dubois. Wait, no. What's his name? I'm uh Raphael. There we go. <laughs> so your husband is some kind of scientist. Oh yes, a zoologist. Ah. Uh -huh. Crypto zoologist. To be she more. She says precise. with a pinch of pride. Yeah, my husband. He's a streamer. A a, a YouTube streamer. <laughs> It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. It's a pseudo job. It's not real. He'll never make money at it. That's uh, one sorry. opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. She <laughs> the one side. <laughs> but they still affect her. Look, I'm saying it for comedic effect. We all know two years from now, I'm going to be the biggest YouTube streamer and everyone will appreciate how I trip over every single word. My apologies, ma'am. 
I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Mm. Searching for such species Ooh. called cryptids oh. is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. <laughs> I love the conditions. that They make me the happiest in this game when you hover over like a, a check and they give you like the pluses and minuses and why. It's so cool <laughs> to see that out, written out. Uh, tell me more about Morel. Looks, character, your relationship. Oh dear. I'm not sure where to begin. <laughs> she gets flustered. Um, again, I feel like this is a good point to, a, a good place to point out again. The character model hair and the portrait hair are very, you know, it's a little sus. One, a little bit. The one clearly looks more, you know, uh, brunette. They ran out of brown paint after the <laughs> Okay, fine. That's, that's fair. Um, what does your husband look like? Hmm. Well... His expression is slightly grumpy, but his <laughs> eyes are always bright and curious. Oh my goodness. Voice, and his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. No. Oh. Let's try again. If I were trying to meet him on the streets, what would I look for? I mean, it's very romantic, but... Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame, mm -hmm. and he has longish white hair. Usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. <laughs> the lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. One other thing. He'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in the reeds. You know, just in case. How long have you been married? Is, is this relevant? We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Oh. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but... I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. All I'm saying is if you're a nerd, you, you'll appreciate that's a power of two, so. Uh, <laughs> what did you two, how did you two meet? By a dating agency, <laughs> I'm to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident, and he just divorced. We hit it off, and well, here we are. She smiles with witsfully. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. I need. Thanks for action speed. I think that makes sense. I think I have all the information I need. Let's move on. I hope I've been useful. Ooh, I want to hear about this. Yeah, tell me more about the rare insect your husband is looking for. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. No, I want to see this in a zoo. I want to see this. I know the critter and it's it's fun. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. The description of it is really fun. Uh, no, I want to hear the insect. Yes, L lieutenant, back off. <laughs> well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Oh, yeah. Here yes. Comes the interesting. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insulindian coast. Hence it is its name such a cool Insulindian creature. Mm -hmm. Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the Phasmid with us, officers. She looks it in your eye and nods thoughtfully. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciated the creature's name. <laughs> I knew it. We're going to be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> it's not made up, officer. I can assure you, it's simply elusive, so much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. What makes you think the plasmid, well, flat, phasmid, is uh, around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They, <laughs> they didn't know what it was, That's credible. of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect Ooh. that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe the phasmid made the teenagers make out. <laughs> Maybe the phasmid made them make out. 
I doubt it. It's not like teenagers need much encouragement <laughs> in that regard. Aww. Well. <laughs> Having a snog. Um, <laughs> so, we are uh, in the phasmid. <laughs> yeah. Meet me by the phasmid. Uh, so a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you need. You have. Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian phasmid perfectly. And they didn't even know what they were looking at. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. <laughs> you seem really excited about this cryptid. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insul Indian phasmid. All scientists have their little hobby horses. Mm. So, is it dangerous? <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? <laughs> is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> unless you, unless you're, what is it, the History Channel and you're, you're making a show about discovering Bigfoot. <laughs> then you do. Does it have cool powers? Yes. It can blend in almost perfectly mm. among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years, hmm. centuries even. That is cool to think about, that like, you know, something is that well camouflaged. That's such a, like, we, we think ourselves so good at, you know, being able to see the mm. bug that's hiding. But I mean, <laughs> what if there is something out there that's so well camouflaged? <laughs> so good at school. <laughs> We've never been able to see it out of all human history. Oh dear. What's so special I'm about this bug? I'm not the stick bug this gun. Very well. <laughs> it is very special. Yeah. The woman's face flushes with embarrassment. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand. I'm sure. <laughs> That's all for now, ma'am. I'll uh just gonna check wait. Oh hello, dear. A suggestion. Very we can become more suggestive. Is that purple? Yeah. Uh, minus suggestion? Yeah. Oh, that's a plus suggestion. Cool. Wow. Oh, hello, dear. Wow. That's, you are yeah, again. that's really good. There's really no point in manipulating Ooh. anyone. She'd be only too pleased to tell you about her work. Go on and ask. Woo. Uh, hey, Lena, I'd like to hear about some of the other the, the cryptids you've dis you've studied. Could you just tell me about a couple of them? Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. Aw. One cryptid, not a couple. <laughs> one. You this get one, one cryptid. cryptid. <laughs> 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 okay, Kim, just one little cryptid, Flamis. <laughs> Wait, no, yeah, cryptic extravaganza. I like the sound of that. And I don't. Just <laughs> one. Or he'll be disappointed in you. I wouldn't want that. No. Ooh, tough choice there. Ooh. Biggest, thinnest, most dangerous. Oh, the cryptid that's on the pen you gave me. That's a fun idea. Are there any invisible ones? Mm -hmm. It's been educational. Sad we need to to discuss something else. Let's, let's, I think I want to do at least the pen one. If it uh, lets me do more, that'd be fun. Is that a cryptid on this pen you gave me? Uh, take out the pen she gave you. Yes. Oh. It's the kind green ape. <laughs> half war story. Half undiscovered species in the genus Homo. War story? Yes. It was reported by soldiers in South Safra during the war. The kind green ape would visit bunkers during the night, healing <laughs> wounded soldiers with its saliva. Wow, with its saliva? I'm yes. giving him smooches. It has mm -hmm. amazing healing qualities. It's like Steven Universe. Some soldiers reported growing back limbs, regaining their sight. Jesus. And there was some about an undiscovered subspecies of men? Man? Indeed, there is. It's our closest relative among the cryptids. <laughs> is it Same now? Same taxonomic oh. family, different genus. Which is to say, the kind green ape is a species with which we share a common ancestor and that evolved parallel to our own. Just like your partners. What? Oh. That's why I always have to take the lead, right, Kim? What? 
Pretty sure Cam is the same species as us. To suggest otherwise is stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, what? The lieutenant looks at you, pleasantly surprised. Oh, no, I didn't mean to imply that Saolites are inferior to us in many ways. You are superior. For example, your earwax doesn't have a foul <laughs> odor like ours does. <laughs> a tremendous evolutionary advantage, I'm sure. <laughs> but perhaps we've had enough speculative biology for today. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, nope, I want to hear about the biggest. Hey, you promised Aww. you'd only ask about one cryptid. But Kim, don't you want to hear about another cryptid too? The lieutenant pauses thoughtfully. Something in him breaks. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's yes. make him. We did it. We've broke well, him. <laughs> the biggest cryptid is, of course, the horrible giant of Kokonur. Ooh. The giant lives in the most arid parts of the vast Kokonur Desert in South Samara, casting a strange light across the barren wastes. Wait, what do you mean a strange light? Um, mirage or a mirage. psychogenous luminance. <laughs> psychogenous luminance. Uh, she does not elaborate <laughs> the nature of this luminance further. Uh, and just how big is it? No one knows for sure. It is like an awful mountain appearing from below the horizon and expanding to cover almost a third of your field of vision. <laughs> Wild. Is it dangerous? The towering luminosity of Kokonur is a bad omen in local folklore. Kokonur. Some say it's a Fata Morgana. Others, fate unimaginable. Who are you? No hmm. animal can be that large. It's a mirage. So Kim is like into this just so I can, <laughs> just so I can diss everyone. That's what makes it so peculiar. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, that's stupid. Next. At the very limits of scientific law, the giant of Kokonur must be the largest animal the planet can support. Mm. There are limits, you see, to how large a metabolism an ecosystem can beget. It's Some pretty neat. say a gravity anomaly below yeah. the Kokonur Desert might oh. allow the creature to grow to these gargantuan sizes. I know it has to do with, you know, gravity, the reason why things don't keep growing bigger. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, just, they re, just there's a point where the, the limit is met. You can't really support yourself. Just can't Ooh. push that much this blood around. Really. Yeah, that too, cool. right. That's a lot of it. Great, this is great. You need more. Uh, what's the tiniest cryptid? Is it the, the spider capuchin monkey? Cryobacter catlensis. She answers immediately. Cryobacter catlensis. Yes, a unicellular bacterium that They're talking was about discovered tardigrades. in one of the northernmost points of Kotla on the Boreal Plateau by renowned geologist Caitlin Mijanu some 70 years ago. What's so special about this little critter? The bacterial colony Mijanu found had remained alive while frozen in ice for longer than anyone could that sounds like a tardigrade. estimate. Certainly from little water bear. recorded history... Mishinu disappeared shortly after injecting herself with the oh, there should be more tardigrade fairies. Study. There should be. No doubt in hopes of prolonging her own life. It would be very fun to see them, just with all the fat arms and the the weird butt face, the the weird anus face they have. They got like a like a Yoshi tutor. They do, yeah. <laughs> uh Wait, she injected herself with it? Uh, wait, yeah, what? Yes, the bacteria had survived. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> since times immemorial. It is not hard to see oh, where no. she could have got the idea. It's actually a little hard to see, <laughs> but do go on. I mean, there's an immortal geologist wandering the world? Yes, and she's quite mad, too. <laughs> After she treated herself with the bacteria, she stopped aging, <laughs> but also became increasingly eccentric and irascible, so that even her oldest friends were forced to pull away. We can assume that she has been living somewhere in the wilderness for decades now, all alone except for the cryobacter catlensis coursing through her bloodstream. Me and the uh, toxic plasmosis in my brain for my cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I'll never be alone. I have a <laughs> many little things living on the film of my... <laughs> uh, what's the most dangerous cryptid? The gnome of Jeroma. 
Uh, the Gnome of Jeroma, that doesn't sound that too bad. Oh, it is. None of his victims survived. Oh, God. Or even relatives never even found their bodies because the Gnome's venom dissolved organic What the tissue. fuck? <laughs> What did this cryptid look like? It was, reportedly, a small creature with webbed fingers and a protruding forehead and a gangly little thing. Hmm. Quite scary to look at. A couple of campers found it when it was already dying. Hmm. They heard an odd wailing in the woods and followed the sound. They were scared and wrapped it in tarpaulin to suffocate it. Uh. It still took the gnome of Jeroma. An entire day to die. I hate that. <laughs> That's a the terrible body story. Of the creature was found. Why aren't there detailed illustrations of it in science textbooks confirming the existence of this very little species? Alas, the first scientist who got Alas. his hands on the creature's corpse put it in a jar of formaldehyde, thinking that would detoxify the gnome's venom. Instead, all the venom leaked out of the creature's teeth and into the surrounding liquid. Dissolving the creature itself. <laughs> poetic end. Oh, ain't that always the way? A real loss for science. I mean, it, it always ends like that. They should have thought about that by now. Uh, are there any invisible cryptids? What an interesting question. And the answer is yes, there are. Of course. All fairy tales have someone or something invisible in them. You're right, Kim. I've read Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's childish, but I need to know. Shush, Kim. She's gonna tell me about the invisible cryptid. What is it? It's the cold de mama d'aqua. It's cold de mama d'aqua. Thin whisper of sound, and that's precisely what it is. Self-replicating sound waves, invisible and intangible. The cold de mama is very afraid of us, which huh. makes it incredibly difficult to track. So, so it's a banshee. What does it um sound like? Like nothing, it's such a high-pitched sound that us humans can't hear it, nor so you can't other hear animals. It. You can't see it. Ring right outside your window, and sense. you wouldn't even know it. it could be anywhere. This is Everywhere, definitely my favorite cryptid. <laughs> Fine, I'll buy it. How can an animal be a sound? <laughs> Many scientists have asked the same question. Some have claimed that. It isn't itself a sound, but a tiny corpuscle that mm. emits sound waves. But there's no evidence to support this theory. Could it be here? Looks around right now. It could be. Oh, yes. As Ooh. I said, it could be everywhere. It could be me on that stage and later tonight. not know any better. <laughs> it could be ringing all the days of our lives and nights. What evidence is there this of this animal being a sound? Plenty. It's the evidence that led to its discovery. In the 20s, a group of areopagi ornithologists, that is, scientists who study birds, were trying out a new recording oh, technology that. for capturing sounds outside <laughs> the range of human hearing. When playing back recordings they had made in the foothills of the Ea mountain range, they noticed certain anomalies Patterns that seemed random at first, but on closer examination, were consistent. Uh, they're talking about vibrations of songbirds. The, the, you're talking about like the ocean thing. That is that vibrations uh, or? No, no, the thing that birds do. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, songbirds. The scientists soon discovered they could track and even predict what appeared to be feeding, mating, ah. and migration. Oh, enjoy dinner. Yeah, see you leave. Sound waves in a strictly delimited range of ultrasonic frequencies, even higher than those of the highest pitched bat calls. Ah, 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 ah. You can do higher. I know you can. Punches you in the balls. When speaking about these strange animals. Okay. Into a comfort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be a seagull right now. Aw, confidence in her cryptids. They realized that they had discovered a new species and called it the Cold Mama Daqua, <laughs> after the Paracanassian name for the Voice of God. Cool. Which is said to be very silent. Wow. Mm hmm. They grew quite obsessed with these little birds. Even though they couldn't see them, they could distinguish among individual birds and even began to name some of them. 
I would never name animals that frequented my area. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't be me. Won't catch my ass. Sequester, time, just can. Those hmm. are but some of the Mama Daqua they followed individually. Why is the Mama Daqua so afraid of us? That is a sad story. Oh. A group of university students assisting with the field work in their enthusiasm for the project, and no doubt because they were preoccupied with impressing their professors, nearly drove it to extinction. Extinction? They tried to communicate with it and had no other means but sound. So they started sending out sound waves at frequencies they thought might match the Mama Daqua's. And what happens when a sound wave meets another sound wave of the same frequency, dear? Destruction. This lady really should be a teacher. She's really good at the explaining Aww. things thing. She really is. Thank you, suggestion. Um, do they amplify each other? That's what I would assume, actually. What do you think? Uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so yeah. Okay. I will select two. No, dear. Damn it. They can't each other out. <laughs> okay, we learned something about frequencies today. So I'm sure I said the right thing, I just didn't understand it properly. Right <laughs> yeah, I think it... Well, I think you're right about that. most of the population. Oh, God. Wait. Which means I would have got the points on the test. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we... I, yeah. <laughs> I feel like what you said, definitely, and what I said, definitely. After mm. that, the corpuscle appears to have migrated elsewhere. There have been recordings of anomalies similar to those spotted in Ea. Just notice the pod to plant up there. and far between. It's impossible to confirm the presence of Blue any cactus. stable mm -hmm. called Mama Daqua population anywhere. Of course. A common thread in these. Disappearance and unfalsifiability. I like the story, though, ma'am. I'm glad you did, dear. Aww. Mm -hmm. What about what? Man, I just can't get enough of these cryptids. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. To them. <laughs> I'm not Ravenous. really one to tell you about all of them. You should ask my husband if you get the chance. He's the <laughs> real I, expert. When I read that, I thought he, she was saying, like, you should ask your husband about that. Your husband being Kim. Um, let's... God. Someday. <laughs> uh, I really like to hear more about you cryptids. Know, <laughs> to hell with it. Let's have more cryptids. Yay. Of course, officers. Is there a particular... Okay. I'm glad yeah. you like them. I just wanted to check that off. Woo. Let's give us just a quick save, because that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do all that again, thank no, you. No, I don't want to, yeah. I might sneeze and need to repeat it also. Titus, you were told to keep a low profile. I want to see what this can is or whatever. It's a bowl. It's uh, <laughs> spitting it. Oh, freaks some tobacco. wonder what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, what could it be? <laughs> um... It's a really small spin bucket. Like. <laughs> it is. You gotta aim. Gotta crouch over it and like, drip it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just thinking about possible things we should do. Um, find speed and sniff it. Okay. We could talk to. Every yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, well, I mean, he isn't even here, is he? I don't see Titus, actually. thought it would be like, this could be him, I guess. No, that's Hardy. That's what I'm looking for, and I think that's him. And overalls, toting guns, union placards. Let's see Hawthorne bushes outside. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can inspect it. Behind the dock workers. Oh. A ceiling white window. The Hawthorne branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. Squint, it's me. There's what are you in this game? <laughs> to let some air in. Can't no avoid me. Open it yeah, squint to see it. It's still too cold outside. There's a lot of me in this game too, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, while we're here, right? Why not? Oh. Nothing. Oh. Just black not the time yet. The hair of an old woman, motionless. The wind in the yard doesn't reach the hawthorn. Nor does the light come in from this window. Well, Nate, that's a neat thing for the future. Oh, money. I need it. 50 cents score. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to just set this up for a sec. 
Um, okay, so there's a neat series of dialogues we can do here, but I don't know if we can do it yet because I think mm. you need something in your inventory to do it. So maybe we shouldn't do it yet. I think save it for another stream as well. Yeah. It'll probably take a while. Mm -hmm. We should talk to Everett. How about that? Yeah. I think that's a good... Uh... That? You've got my gun, Everett. Be? Yeah, that's what I'm the curious about. Mama oh. No. It's <gasps> probably just your imagination ringing no. in your ear. Is it? There is a ringing. Listen more. It's... There seems to be... It's Surrender Surrender. An extremely high-pitched ring. Ultrasonic. Lena said it was very high-pitched, right? It's like <laughs> something tickles your ear. Uh, wait, Kim, do you hear a high-pitched noise? No, I don't hear the <laughs> Koldo Mama Dakwa, and neither do you. Of course he doesn't. He's <laughs> deaf. Listen closely first. There it is again. <gasps> You're about to rediscover a long-lost species. Keep it listening. Must be very close. Maybe, just maybe, it keeps still. It might perch on your shoulder. Maybe he'll come toward you, is what he's going to say. What are you doing? You're a police officer. We're doing the right thing. Shut up, physical achievement. <laughs> the only birds you should be looking for are healthy women of oh. childbearing age. Oh, my God. Oh, fit bird. <laughs> I'm always looking for birds. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Plus two, plus three. <laughs> Maple coated. I found one of those. Um, Yeah, hold, hold very still and hope the bird comes to perch on your wink shoulder oh no the sound it's moving away somewhere over there where's it going Go no it. no perch on my <laughs> no too late it's just like it's the parrots in minecraft <laughs> there is yeah no ringing anymore just the sound of the streets <laughs> go then leave leave like everything else <laughs> jeez no come back please Keep your ears peeled. Ooh, then. yes. Ooh. If the species really cool. has migrated to Martinez, you're sure to hear it again. Hell yeah. We have five or four of these points. That's we're getting another thought cabinet. So we can internalize this one. Seven hours. This one's going to take forever. Oof. You heard it. The mysterious Kodo Mama Dakwa. You're certain that you did. Well, maybe not quite certain, but let's say you you're hopeful because it would make you a very you very special <laughs> uh, to be the only human being to hear this invisible incorporeal bird, this an animate whisper, this particle of sound. You're going to have to keep listening. Sharpen your ear. Oh, I of course can't say the solution yet. Uh, wait. Just want to see. Okay. No, no temporary debuffs on that one. This guy's still there. I'm gonna pop by the frit just to, you know, turn all our bottles. Yeah, yeah, why not? Actually, also, is there any, like, junk here I can... Expecting Kim's junk? Nope, okay. <laughs> the tear machine. Your bottles clunk into Only the machine. Only what? Ah. Excuse me. We okay. <laughs> I'm surprised it was that little, but fine. Damn, we are hurting for money. Well, we have to concede to Everett's like five bucks this time. Maybe. <laughs> mm. I mean, there's money up there if we can get past the Kuno thing check. Can I do this yet? The file cabinet oh, stands hey. steady as ever, and the unlocked drawer. Slides out to greet the drill. I'm kind of curious about something. How many of these checks get refreshed per day? Does does the day refresh them? Mm. Uh, white checks available now. Okay, no. It's just we need to try those again. Neat. Might as well. The file cabinet stands steady. Force yourself ever. to go through the files. And the, the folders. Slides out to greet you. Whatever's oh, hidden oh, here oh, is big hidden success. Oh. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make well, that's sense me. of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. Hog. Oh, hey, convenient. Look at the note. It appears to be a to-do list. <laughs> the other option was never mind a note. Uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo. Oh, Leo. Shoes. Special whirling borscht. 
Ooh. Walter Everard's plants. Sweet office floor. More banners. Aww. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Look him, a to-do list uh, note, a to-do note with a list of errands for Everett. One of his aides must have left it. Well, oh. nothing incriminating here. What is Still so special it. about this mm -hmm. borscht? Code oh. for drugs. Borscht. Booze. Blood. Take another look at the note. Sure. Remember, Leo. All okay. items of the drawer slides. Smoothly. Smoothie. The payphone hang. Just curious if it had another option yet. Or if it ever does. I wanna go back up here and see if the bottles like respawn or anything. Yeah. Very wet here. You just admitting that publicly? <laughs> I mean, I, you can tell I'm excited. Go back before the cargo container. Its drawer has not lessened oh, that's since funny. you were last here. If anything, it seems to have grown slightly. That's so funny. That just I get a plus one because it's been here longer. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some rhetoric up. Minus one rhetoric. No. Okay. You're back before the oh, cargo let's container. Try it. It's true. Uh, Fuck. As it's always been. It was kind of a lot to ask it's for two six sixes in a row. <laughs> with the rhetoric. Maybe you're losing your mind. I'll be able to come back to it. In my run, I was able to open that, and it's neat. But I wasn't able to do it until, like, very late, so... Don't expect to. I have cargo, a pile of cargo belts used to lift he for lifting heavy... Heavy lifting. Fuck. It's the one with the hangman. <laughs> you know? <laughs> God damn it. Talk to me about borscht. Oh, hey, <laughs> I knew you'd be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. Oh. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep coming back. Le Leo, Leo, in the, in the future, can we keep these greetings shorter? No, I don't want to say that. I had some questions for you if that's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. <laughs> it's like that old saying goes, wisdom withers if not shared. And Aww. old Leo is <laughs> always up for sharing. <laughs> Cute. Um, yeah, are you the Leo who wrote the note to make more banners? Oh, yes, yes. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. Hmm. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost hmm. forgot about the borscht. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was that about the borscht? Oh, yes. I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. Aw. <laughs> it's very, very good. Hmm. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. <laughs> I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadan's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. <laughs> Power borscht, huh? Never mm. heard of a borscht that turns little guys into dog fighters. Alcohol, however. Ooh. What do you mean by talking, uh, taking the soup to the men? Uh, is it for striking? I, what? I, yeah, I thought... Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The mm. borscht keeps them happy and in fighting Whoa. spirits. Makes you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling <laughs> in rags. Hold up, who makes it at the whirling? It's the guy we saw in the kitchen, I think. Oh, the whirling's cute. Yeah. He makes it. Them is always He's talking cute. with Mr. Mariana in that weird language and laughing together. He mm. doesn't speak what we speak. He's from Grad. Looks like the borscht is spiked. I'm gonna look into it. Oh, sure, mister. Sure. Special. You do that. Yes, sir. <laughs> he didn't actually understand what you meant. And now he's just nodding along. <laughs> yep, you do that. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm off. Leaf's back. Welcome back, Leaf. Oh, welcome back. Okay. Let's see whatever it has to say. Uh, let's save before we see what has uh, whatever it has to say. Hello, Schmello. Mr. Dubois, a pleasure as always. You don't have to sit down this time since you've already sat <laughs> on that chair. Can we get the dead body down from the tree? You might have noticed there's one hanging on the tree behind the hostel <laughs> cafeteria. I'm sure he hasn't. Oh my! 
Don't take this question personally, but why would I get involved in this matter? <laughs> Mr. Clare, the man was hanged with a cargo belt, a steel reinforced cargo belt. It's safe to assume the If he does this for me, I have to, to probably do another thing for him. Probably. Mm -hmm. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. It's a stain on the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, the belt thing. You are a community leader. Help your community out. I can certainly see how having him up there might start affecting some real <laughs> estate values. He licks his fat lips and smiles. But of course, all joking aside, I am He licks to his help fat you. tits. Oh. Um, Woohoo. <laughs> he, he picks up the handset of a radio call, a phone, and uh, to his right, fuck, <laughs> then clicks a button. Jean Luc, the cop who bested you in physical combat is here. Oh and shit. He has a little dead body in a tree problem. Namely, <laughs> Measure Head's gonna do it for us. Down. Please extend him this courtesy. I also smile on <laughs> fat tits, I mean, relatable belief. You can find <laughs> Luke down at the gates. How can't you? You already knew that. Who can do that? Anyway, non plus. to help you. Now that he's back on his feet. I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, I'm looking into your shady brew. I might as well tell him. Uh, it's probably, he probably doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> It's probably just regular Porsche. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Harry. Shady Brew? There are so many moving parts in my operation, I can't keep track of them all. You know what? Don't even tell me. Whatever it is, do it. Surprise <laughs> me. Just one thing. If you can, make it even shadier. Wow. Okay, thanks, Everett. I'm going to be going now. Might talk again. Okay, well, that means the body's just, like, on the floor now, so that's helpful. Yeah, yeah good talk, Everett. We're, we're out here. Yep. We've got a body to go and feel up. I mean... Uh. <laughs> that's right, we do. It's a collaborative effort here, feeling up a dead body. Like all the way from over here. Like, can I? <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, watch him go. Woo! Muting the stream for that joke, Jesus. <laughs> it should be. This whole, this whole stream needs to be stopped. Oh, look who it is up there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! We definitely can't talk to him I remember here, though. the first time I played this, and I was immediately like, "How do I get there? How do I get to who's this person?" <laughs> yeah. Wait, maybe I. Huh? It's not down yet. The man before you is naked. I have to wait for it to happen. I don't have to talk to Measurehead, do I? I think that's who Jean Luc is, or is that someone else? I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's not. Yeah. I'm just gonna double check though, because he said like the guy, the cop who beat him up. So, or maybe it's him. Wait, no. Why would he? He's a scab. He went. I'm just gonna quickly see if he has anything to say. He's like skipping most of his dialogue. Those glutes, though. Has no. Halted, oh yeah, ever told you, will you to help us get the again. body down from the tree. So it was. You bested me in hmm. race combat to reach my superior. Then had him give me an order. I salute your cunning enemy. Hmm. I will go and remove the body from the tree with my bare hands. You're so noble, Measure Head. <laughs> But, while I am gone, someone must stand guard on the bridge. Hmm. That someone needs to be you. Both. Wow. You. Wow. Okay, just fine. I'll wait. Lieutenant, what if we don't want to do that? This is the uncomfortable result of not taking it on ourselves. Oh. I can live with a compromise. Yeah. Listen to your little friend. Okay, then. Babe, see that they stay here Babe. the whole time. Nope. Oh. 
Uh, this is the fun part of the stream. The woman's gaze follows Measurehead as he leaves. So, you guys are like cops or something? <laughs> Why are you with Measurehead? Yeah, we're the law around here. Why are you with Measurehead? Look at him. His craniometric perfection. Mm -hmm. Are you cops or what? Apparently so. Cool. I like men with guns and power. I'm Katya, by the way. You hear that? That's all. He's breaking something. Uh, Lieutenant looks towards the yard. Yeah. Jean-Luc must be really tearing it up over there. I wish I could see it. <laughs> Uh, see enough of that dead body already. Look at you! Oh. RCM rent a cops! No! Guarding that bridge like Ebrot's lapdogs! Is this where it's at now? The RCM is for sale! We just needed a favor! Yeah, it's it's bad. And who are you? What is your business here? Why are your clothes four sizes too small for you? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm an unbelievably corrupt cop. I'm... I am... Corrupt every, every community I get. What? Okay. Sure, I like that one. I like admitting that I'm corrupt. No, I'll, I'll say who I'll work for whoever I want. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's the super stock cop choice. Uh-huh. A shrill laughter interrupts you, echoing across Martinez. It's Kuno. Mm -hmm. Then... I feel like Kuno would look up to Measurehead. The man turns to look behind him at the behemoth appearing around the corner, approaching him, walking past him. There he goes, uh, pathfinding his way back. Thanks. The corpse has been removed from the tree. Stand down and congratulate Oh, we, did, we, we had to to keep the order. And what you had to do. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. I think we can make our way to the body and then maybe call it a squaint for tonight. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's get us all. Like, I think we started the last episode in front of the body, too, so. Yeah, right. this is going to be a tradition of ours. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Just meet by the body. <laughs> Yep, we have a lot to discuss with the, uh, with the people in the Whirling and Rags, with the Union, and then we, uh, we also never talked to, uh, Renee, so those two people, that'd be cool. Oh, here's our guy. But yeah, this was a really fun one. Uh, lots of dialogue, which I, I personally enjoy. I like learning about this cool universe a lot. Hell yeah. Got to learn about all these cryptids, and, uh, hearing, uh, uh lots of sad things in our dreams, <laughs> so... No, I, I thought that part was so awesome. Anywho, thank you everyone for joining us again for another Squank cast. We'll see yeah. you next time. See you on Monday. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. For a new... We're, yeah, we're taking a little break from uh, Disco. Just a one-day one break. We'll be back on it Thursday. Yeah. So uh, look forward to us playing Parish on Monday. It's going to be really fun. Till then, see you later. See you around. Bye. Bye.